Hey everybody, how is it going? It's time, once again, for Paper Mario Superstar. Fuck! <laughs> oh, don't sound too cheery! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Hang on! That was the most- I said, I said, hang on, try that again. Fuck. Try there you go, much better. <laughs> <laughs> Emil's robotic fuck. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know why. Sometimes the screen transitions we use breaks my virtual audio cable. So I oh. specifically rebooted the computer to make sure it didn't happen. And it happened immediately. And I can't <laughs> hear it until I see everyone in chat posting robots. So I'm like, uh, I can't fix it. We did the intro, let's do it again. The worst glitches are the sometimes, maybe, but not really ones that don't follow any pattern. Oh yeah, that, that's the worst part is like, I don't know how to fix it because I can't tell when it's happening and I don't know what's causing it other than when I use screen transitions. Hmm. And even then so, I've had it happen uh, without any on. So it's just, it's just a big question mark basically. Someday, like through random chance, you'll just happen to figure it out because like, it'll just, be the right planetary alignment to make it obvious. I mean, at, some, then, at some point, I'm just going to throw the damn thing away and then just get a new audio setup. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, so, yeah, going into this, I uh, I got woken up by having horrible gas last night. <laughs> You're just going to open with that? All right. And didn't get much sleep. And then I also had bad dreams. So, like, the universe was just, like, wanting to give me a bad day before I'd have to play, like, have to, like, be here for sticker stars. <laughs> this is just a normal conversation between us, by the way, if you're wondering. This is just how it happens, so. Yeah, so about, like, the rectum. Let me talk to you about... No kidding. <laughs> so here's the... The best part is, now they can't tell if it's a lie or not. Yeah. It's so... It's so yeah, up in the air, no one can tell. I've talked to you for 11 years. I know how to play off of you and make things unpredictable. Unpredictable or uncomfortable? Which one do you want to go for? Uh, like... <laughs> not mutually exclusive. The hesitation is really what made that. <laughs> Whoa! Mondo, cool! That's right, boys. Oh, man. Mondo okay, cool. so, um... Yikes. <laughs> Thank you all for donating to the Runaway Guys Coliseum to, to direct relief uh, to make this a reality. Um, I find it amazing that we are as far into this game as we are, and like, you know, people still turn out in droves to donate to see this game get ripped a new asshole. And that's saying a lot because it already has four of them. Jeez. <laughs> well, I'm excited because I, I know we're not beating the game tonight, but I've got a gut feeling that we're gonna be in the exact position to end it next year. Like, like it'll be nice, easy. Like, short enough that I think we could put it in the actual schedule for the event. Same. Yeah, I I don't think it'll be too bad to like finish it after this stream. Uh, there, there, there's two real chapters, and then there's a so-called final chapter that's bad in 20 minutes. Well, 20 minutes, but like 10 of that is the final boss fight. Yeah, it's the the final level is nothing. All right, so ideally we're going to get through all of chapter four and I'm not, it's been so long. I don't remember how long chapter five is. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through that in full, but. I remember chapter Go five was like Do you the most know forgettable, which doing? is kind of a contradiction for me to say that I remembered it. I don't. I remember forgetting it. What? I can't believe Nintendo made three of these and they're all terrible. At least the next two weren't as bad. That's a high bar we've set. <laughs> not as bad. No, people always tell me on Twitter, like, oh, come on, Emil. Origami King's not as bad as Sticker Star. And I'm like, that's not a compliment! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're not giving Origami King a compliment when you say that! <laughs> Uh, so I guess we gotta go to Surfshine Harbor. I think we have the fight with Big Bertha, and then we can move on to either Chapter 4 or 5. Yeah, I just gotta get uh, everything all sorted here. The Boombox is a really good item. I remember that that buffs your attack power for the yeah, rest of the fight. Yeah, doub doubles your attack for a couple turns. Uh, yeah, like, it's really good. We need the Fish Hook. We've got the Radiator, which we need for the next stage anyways. Yes. Uh, why is it missing? Hang on, I'm missing some audio channels here. Where is my plug? 
<laughs> Somebody in the chat said that being a 3 out of 10 is infinity times better than being a 0 out of 10. I mean, like, I enjoyed Origami King. There are some dumb parts in it. Some very dumb parts in it, but there were some fun parts, too. I, and at least, again, the music is still pretty good, just like Sticker Stars, so. Yeah, like, the soundtracks are good, but I don't think a soundtrack what? makes a good game. And there's also that. the fact that... No, but it is, like it, is, it is enough to help you get through it. I like so... Yeah. Man, what... Glad to see the legacy of Paper Mario being upheld well, but anyway. Uh, there's parts of Origami King's gameplay that I'm fine with. I think that, honestly, the game is most fun when you're running around looking for toads. I think that's the best part of the game. Okay, let's see. What but, do we like, need? I think, but I think the battle system is awful. I don't like sliding puzzles, and the game did not make me a fan of them. I thought the... A lot of people tell me the boss fights are, like, the one good part of the gameplay, though, but I didn't like those either. Did we get the... Oh, no, we didn't. Uh... So, I, I looked up a couple things, because it's been so long, I've pretty much forgotten things, and uh, there's a special way of ending the, the fight we're about to do, mm -hmm. and I don't remember ever doing it. So, it requires one of two items, like an actual thing, and then an actual item, but I don't... Do we not have the thumbtack? It looks like I can we look don't. up where to find it. And it's not a big deal, because I can just bring a spike helmet to do it. Let's see, thumbtack. The thumbtack, known as the drawing pin in the British version. Uh, it is the secret door in the warm, fuzzy plains, which is the first level. Wait, how did we. So oh, because it needs the door! Yeah, right. You have the yeah. I think. Well, we can just use the spike helmet. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually know what you're referring to, which uh, I'll uh, be excited to see this. All right, let's pick up a couple in case I goof it. Uh, how is our inventory looking otherwise? Oh, the big stuff. Yeah, uh, I want to doubt, can always, can't hurt to have a hop slipper. Uh, yeah, hop slipper's good. Kirby. Kirby tried to get on my lap as we were starting, and then he missed, so he clawed into my leg to not fall, but then he fell anyway, and then I brought him up on my lap, and then five minutes later, he's like, yeah, I'm done. Sounds like a cat to me. Yeah, Kirby's a cat. He's a cat. Okay, I think we got everything we need for this fight. Uh, the newer games really wouldn't be so bad if they were, you know, just platformers and they weren't, like, forcing themselves into a mold of an RPG while refusing to have any of the parts that make RPGs fun. Like, I I actually think Super has the right idea in that case that if they wanted to do something like this, then a platform would be the way to do it. I just wish Super's platforming was more interesting. I, I can see that. Like, I, I feel like it feels barren at times. But there's at least, like, for... fighting things make sense, because there's still experience and stuff, so there's still a point to getting in fights. And since mm -hmm. it's a platformer, there's, there's no, like, random battles. It's just, you jumped on an enemy, he's dead. Here's some experience. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I can understand uh, thinking that it's not that interesting of a gameplay, though, too. but, uh... Look yeah, I just... I think what? that just, if they weren't forcing this game into the mold of an RPG while well, refusing friends. to have, like, the good parts of it, it just, you have parts again. of the gameplay that are just at odds with each, with each other and aren't fun. Um... If Origami King was just running around looking for toads and you kill the enemies in a few seconds, then I probably wouldn't have as many issues with it. I just don't like sliding puzzles. That's fair, and that that combat is entirely sliding puzzles. It is. I I think I told the story about how I did the first boss fight of Origami King, and I was stuck there for like 20 minutes because I'm just not good at sliding puzzles, and I was only able to win because Olivia is just giving you free turns and HP all the time. And then, like, when I finally won, I went, thank fuck that's over. That is, without a doubt, the worst boss I've ever played in a Nintendo game. And then when I saw that they were all like that, I actually screamed no. <laughs> I remember when Reese and I were playing through the game, uh, we had done the first two boss fights just fine, and I got to the third one. I was like, man, I can't figure out a way to actually get to the attack icons. What am I doing wrong? And then Reese is like, have you tried spinning the separate rings on the inside? I'm like, wait, no, I thought I couldn't do that in the boss fights. It's like, no, you, you can do that in the boss fights. I'm like, I haven't been doing that on purpose. I thought it wasn't an option because they didn't say it for sure. 
I've, yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that they played through a lot of the game without knowing that you could slide instead of just rotate. Mm, I knew you could do that in the regular fights. I just, in the boss fights in particular, I thought it had been disabled. Mm. That's why I was, when she said that, I'm like, oh, well, now I feel like an idiot. Mm. The game tells me, I'm pretty sure, for boss fights, I'm pretty sure it didn't. Or if it did, we just straight up missed it. I don't know. I, I've heard people have this issue before, and I don't know why it is. If, you know, if I ever had to research Origami King, that'd probably be one of the things I'd get to the bottom of, but I'm not sure if that's happening. To be fair, one of the boss fights does actually kind of disable that. Isn't that a later fight, though? The Fire of Elemental Strategy was poorly communicated. Oh, which one was the... Uh, that was the... Th I think that Phoenix. was the third boss fight, actually, wasn't it? Hmm. Because it's like, the it's the elemental, one. first elemental, then it's the the crayons or markers, then it's the fire elemental? Yeah, chat's confirming fire was third. Okay, okay. So that was the one where I was like, I can't figure out what I'm doing, and then Reese was like, yeah, just slide, you're not doing all the movements you can. You're not sliding the pieces. Oh, yeah, that's oh, what I, was. no. I wasn't doing the sliding of rows. I was doing the rotating, I wasn't doing the sliding. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, big, cheap, cheap. I've never seen such a mammoth cheap cheap. Surely there can be no other name for this beast than the big cheap cheap. The um, big how one. How about Big Bertha, who's a pre-established Mario character who'd be way more creative than this bullshit? <laughs> Doesn't it have a different name? Like Cheap Chomp? Or is that, no, that's an even different yeah, there's, one there's, too. There's Cheap Chomp, there's Big Bertha. Like there's so, uh... Boss Bass. All right, well, let's, 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 let's fight it. I like unhinged meal. I already cut Kirby. the rope, right? Yes, I did. Kirby's being a good little nuisance. He is. He's being a good little nuisance. He's bothering me. This is the biggest thing to ever happen at the harbor. The biggest, I say! Kirby, why are you bothering me? Don't you know I got a bitch about Sticker Star? I can't be doing two things at once when I do that. I can't half ass it. Kirby, you smell like perfume. Have you been, like, going to see the neighbors or something? <laughs> He's not even outdoors, so I don't know. Oh, he has to... I thought that, I, put it, I thought had to put it on the how boat. Did... That's what I was misremembering. That... Yeah, that's what I thought, too, and I don't know how that also counted as a first strike. I mean, I ain't complaining. Okay, yeah, one less turn. I also, that's kind of another thing about Origami King. First strikes in that game are worthless. It's like, oh wow, one damage on one enemy, woohoo, when like, you're killing the yeah. enemies in one hit anyway. <laughs> now, if memory serves, I should not use anything super good right now because I think it jumps in the water and auto heals. This will be a good chance remember. for me to get used to my attacks again because it's been so long. You, you remember this fight better than I do. Again, too early. Oh, and too late on that one. Remember how to block at least. <laughs> there it is. There you go, excellent. Bye. At least the water looks nice. Yeah, so he does that, he heals for 99, and now is when I use the, uh, the hook. Again, it would be lovely if anything told you that you were going to need the hook before coming in here. I mean, it's, it, it's a fish. It's somewhat obvious. The hook's me bucko. And now, there we go. Bigger cheap, cheap. Mm -hmm. And if memory serves, if I've read I'm this correct. I'm going to call this big, big cheap, cheap. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, no. Bigger cheap, oh, no. cheap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and it's oh, done. Oh. That's Ooh. so cool. Wow, that's actually really nice. Apparently, you can also pop just... him with the, uh, with the thumbtack. He just died. <laughs> so here's the thing though, as you've noticed by my health, him exploding does 40 damage. So if you have not been picking up the hearts up to this point, uh, he'll kill you <laughs> unless you oh. kill him fast enough. So the short the short death, the quick death, 
doesn't will only work if you have enough health for it. Well, damn, that was almost cool game. So luckily we had ten hit it's HP so left, so we got through. Stupid! It. Like, how dare you be clever during this fight? Let's hurt you for more health than you probably have. Well, okay, that's just, I mean, that's just thinking ahead at that point, because, like, we literally just made a giant balloon explode. I don't know, man. I, maybe I'm just being that guy, but I'm also like, um, actually, when you hit things with their weaknesses in other games, it didn't do that. I mean, I'm just going to tell you right now, have you ever popped a balloon on your head? Yes. Do you know how much, how loud it is? Yes. I, I'm actually scared of balloons. <laughs> Because you popped a, a balloon on your head with a spike helmet? Is that why? Uh, no, just I don't like loud sounds. <laughs> Which is ironic. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But yeah, like, the way it works is, like, you can still kill the guy normally, but, like, if he fully inflates uh, and you're just insta-dead, or you just take the 40 damage if you can pop him faster, so, but yeah. <laughs> I don't like being startled by loud sounds. But yeah, like this, the my point is that startling, like the the sound of the explosion, and I assume that that ex that fish exploded real good, definitely would do some audio damage. Hmm. Okay. I do think it's really stupid that it's like you know forty damage, but hey. I'll hail the new captain. All right, bye. My boat now. I do. That way! 100% less toads. There are health upgrades if you do 3-1 and sniff it or whiff it if you want them that appear after chapter 3 gets completed. I think we did the sniff it or whiff it stuff. Like, we had to go back and do that again. I think their point is that you go back again now that we've finished all of World 3. Mm -hmm. But I forget if we went back and did that. I remember us doing sniff it or whiff it twice. So we got chapter four and we got chapter five. I guess we're yep. going to four. Snow rise, shy guy jungle. Oh, I do not remember the jungle at all. And then, like I said, forgettable. Can, oh yeah, I can go in here to see the start of this, right? You can actually, like, you can just see like how cool looking it is. Brilliant level. <laughs> well, that's nice. Mm, looks like this cliff wall is a dead end. Very helpful, Kirsty. Thank you. Well, guess I'm going swimming. <laughs> no. That's kind of cool that it actually lets you come out here. <laughs> that way! Boo. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do, uh, we are gonna go to World 4, obviously, but I'm gonna go back to the harbor first. Mm. It's up, oh. yeah. Thought it would've happened right away. Thought it happened on the map. <laughs> Who's raiding? It's Tom, Tom Fox. Tom, oh, well, I thought he just went live. Maybe, I hope he's okay. <laughs> Don't tell me your VR broke again, my dude. Oh no. Again. I mean, I'm not seeing anything uh, mentioned that it broke, so I'm just gonna assume it's fine. Hopefully not. He just felt a little motion sick. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's VR. That would do it. It happens. Yeah, Man, I saw him go live about an hour ago. So yeah, let's run counter matches for Tom then. Oh!
Tom Fox, thank you, my dude, for the raid. Hopefully you're feeling better now after... after <laughs> what? I said, now you will die. Now you die. Just like we are playing Paper Mario Sticker Star. I'm going to check to see if our voice robot it again. No, they're not saying it. All right, I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I'm trying to remember, like, maybe it doesn't happen yet. Uh, I sent you a message real quick. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, he just doesn't know that you're already using it. Okay. Yeah, you're already using it. Okay. Okay. All right. Here, just, just respond for me when I jump, and we'll double check. Tell me when you see me jump. Jump. Yeah, there you go. That's not that delayed. Cool. Woo. Okay, I guess it doesn't so, happen yet. At some point, Bowser Jr. is supposed to mess with you while you're here. Oh. Hmm. Maybe it's after we do a couple stages. I don't even remember that happening, but maybe. So, I have to say, and it feels so weird to be saying this, I'm going to come out and say it. Chapter 4 is not that bad. Wow. I really mean it. Wow. I really mean it. This song is amazing. It starts off on a real good note. It has one bad hiccup later in this level where there's something that I think is genuinely bad design. But honestly, Chapter 4 is home to the best levels in this game. And like, if the rest of the game was this good, I probably wouldn't mind it so much. So you're going to be hearing some sticker star positivity out of me tonight. I'm, I'm <laughs> Mail, scared. are you okay? <laughs> I'm scared. Hold me. Evil Emil be like, Chapter 4, Sticker Star, not that bad, yo! I like how st you and still do poggers. the awkward yo no matter what. Yeah, and the much poggers. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I like the way that the snow looks here. I think that like the color choices are really nice. It's just a nice looking area. Um... Yeah, that's all I got. Fuck this chapter. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Nah. I I will complain about a few things. There's a few parts of this chapter that are not good, but, like, for the most part, they didn't screw it up. I know that there's that one point that is coming up very soon that I tried the same thing a couple times and it didn't work, and I was never quite sure why it didn't seem to work. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes in, when playing it this time around. Okay. I uh, got some stronger enemies here with the shiny Goombas. Yeah... Trying to remember which hammers can hit everyone. I've uh, I've genuinely been worried that like I'm going to see this chapter again and I'm going to be like, wait, maybe it's not that good. But I remember on my first playthrough, I actually really enjoyed this chapter. Yeah, I know there's something coming up here in a little bit that I remember enjoying, but I saw some people saying they didn't enjoy it in uh, in pre-chat, so I'm like, oh, maybe I'm misremembering. Hmm. I remember the, um, there's like a, a mansion or something you get to in this chapter that I thought was all right, but again, yes. it's been a while, so maybe I'm misremembering. Uh, the Inig Mansion, I think, is the best area in the game. <laughs> Kirby's whining. He's just like, Emil, are you okay? He's like, <laughs> I'm checking He's on like, you, father. He's like Blink Torture and Morse Code if Sticker Star is holding you hostage. That's what I was trying to remember, that explosion from that. Okay. I am going to be getting in fights at the very start here because uh, we need to make up all the money that we kind of spent on stickerizing or paperizing and stickerizing things at the end of last stream. So, sorry if it starts a little slow because I'm doing this. Mm. It does occasionally help to do fights. You just really don't need to most of the time. Damn it. Three HP. I also don't have any like throwaway items I just want to get rid of, which is the bummer here. I probably should have picked up some more. I mean, you're gonna find stuff on the floor anyway. All the I know, time. but you know you know me. Like I don't want to waste like the nice shiny items if I can help it. I know how you feel. 
Maybe just having to have everything super organized is one of the reasons I don't get along with this game because the way the menus are and stuff and feeling like I'm wasting good stickers. Well, if they keep giving me like some, some filler stuff like this, like I won't feel as bad. Let's resort this. Oh, there we go, much better. I found out that in pre-release material, um, they show seven royal stickers instead of five, implying that this game was going to be much longer. I did always think that six chapters instead of eight was kind of weird. Well, yeah, because didn't every other game up to this point have seven? Like, seven MacGuffins you had to get? Yes. So this one only has five, and pre-release material shows there being seven royal stickers inside of the book at the beginning. Haven't all the oh, modern uh, yes, Paper Mario only has, had five? Bowser has the sixth one, yeah, but, like, you know what I mean? There's five you have to get to get to Bowser. Um, sorry, what'd you say? Hang on. Uh... Doesn't... Don't all the modern Paper Marios now only have five MacGuffins to get? I think and, generally... And, like, the sixth one is in Bowser's hands? Yeah, I think usually that's the case. I don't know, because I, I couldn't finish Color Splash or Origami King. On both uh, cases, I played two chapters and gave up. <laughs> Color Splash has six MacGuffins. I know that Origami, Origami had five ribbons you had to cut, so... God, I played halfway through that game, didn't I? And I didn't have fun. <laughs> I thought I was, like, much earlier than that. I feel bad, because, like I said, I, like, we enjoyed our time with Sticker Star, but we do have complaints, but, like, it was it was otherwise a fun, oops, game. Uh, you mean Origami King, but... Oh, so what did I say? Sticker Star? Yeah, sorry, I meant Origami King. My bad. Just making sure that's what you meant. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my bad. That's okay. Um, Cooligans are cool. Uh, you don't really see them in a lot of Mario games. I think it's kind of nice getting to see something from that. I guess so I can bitch about something uh, while we're <laughs> going through this good chapter. Uh, it always confuses me, though, because, like, okay, I genuinely, like, you know, I wanted to enjoy Origami King, but, like, people tell me that it's, like, a top five Switch game or that, like, it was, like, their game of the year that year, and I genuinely do not see it. I'm just, like, even if I like sliding puzzles, I don't know, I just, I thought the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay was just awful. And it's, like, even though it has some positives, I genuinely just don't see it. Not what I thought that was going to turn into. Okay. <laughs> what did you think I was going to turn into? I thought that was no. Sorry, the sticker, the sticker I just used. I thought it. I thought it turned oh, into an oh, upgraded. Oh, the spell, version. yeah. Yeah, I was a little confused on that too. No, you saying something reasonable? No, I'm like that was fine. I don't know. I. It's like good graphics, good music. I don't think that makes a good game. The minute-to-minute ga -minute gameplay was really bad. I mean, so, but like here's the same thing, like. A um, good soundtrack and good graphics can get you through a mediocre game. I guess that's true. Like, it, it's better than if it didn't have those things, though, but I don't think, like, that alone is enough to, like, you know, call something a good game. No, that's fair. I don't, yeah, I'm not saying it makes a great game or a good game. I'm just saying, like, it does, it does some carrying. It can do some lifting. Did, is that true? Um... Someone said Sticker Star won an award from IGN, and I'm, I want to look this up. Might have. Uh. <laughs> okay, this is kind of clever. The the news headline on their on their Sticker Star review is a bold new direction, but does it stick? <laughs> Makes sense to me. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't even bother. Don't have any scraps. Jane gave it an eight. Um, reception. Let me search for the year. Uh, the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences gave it handheld game of the year during the Dice Awards, and that seems to be the only award of any kind Sticker Star ever won. IG also called Dunban Duncan. I mean, that's just a, a mix-up. No, okay. So that's like, that's literally one letter off. That's it. So they, they called Dunban Duncan and they called Ryan Rain in the same review. <laughs> Most and, people call me J-O-H-N. I don't give them yeah, that much crap for it. Well, it's also a fully voiced game. <laughs> All right, that's a fair that's a fair response. So okay. 
My, my response to that is, like, people have, like, you know... When it comes to not being able to pronounce multiple names in a fully voiced game when, like, you're being paid to play video games, I'm just like, you know, I, I, I get the, the person doing the voiceover is probably not the person doing the review, but, you know, generally video productions, they have, like, that one guy who knows what the hell he's talking about to, like, oversee everything to make sure this doesn't happen, you know, a director. <laughs> I mean, so like, so here's the thing too. Like, um, eight, we're talking about how long eight, is Xenoblade to go through? Eight, we're talking. I assume we're talking about the original release eight, of Chronicles, right? Eight, yeah. Well, no, it's a definitive eight, edition. Was this review? Oh, oh, eight, that's seven, okay. That's a little eight, harder. It's also to defend. a re-release of a ten-year-old That's a little game. harder to defend. I thought we were talking about the original release, not not the uh, the Switch re-release. Yeah, it was a re-release of a game that had been out for like nine years at that point. So. Okay, that's a bit tougher. Cause I was gonna say, yeah, like during yeah. the Wii era, I had like getting in like a like a sixty plus hour RPG on a like a time crunch. I can see making some small mistakes. The re-release of a game that's been out for years, that's harder to defend. Yeah, especially cause like their original review like doesn't make those issues. It's uh, it's so bad. Because I have friends that have worked for, for IGN and have worked for other, like, places like that. And they're like, yeah, no, anytime you have a long-ass RPG, like, you're in trouble. You're going to have a time crunch. You're going to make mistakes. It happens. I, I've heard that before, that trying to review an RPG, especially just because publishers, they don't give you the game, like, a month ahead of time a lot of the time. They usually just give you a few days, and obviously the top brass wants that review out on launch day. Yeah. If I remember correctly, that was also a big problem for Game Explained. Yeah, no, like, a lot of games now are, like, they're, they're come out a little too late for long games. Like, look at Elden Ring. A bunch of people got that game, and they couldn't finish the review in time, because they got it, like, a, the week before it came out. And that's a game that can take upwards of 100 hours. Yeah, it's, it's a combination of a lot of things, just, like... You know, obviously, like, your employer's gonna want the review out on day one because it's when the traffic is, though, but also the publishers don't give up the games until right before they come out. So it's a combination of two separate parties that lead to just really crappy deadlines, and I've always heard that from game reviewers, that it's awful trying to review a big RPG. Especially yeah. if it's one you're not interested in. Oh boy, this thing. Okay, this is the slip-up. So you got, like, a little corner right there. Uh, it looks kind of like Utah. I don't know why they thought that was, like, good, like, telegraphing that you're supposed to use the space heater here, because I remember I got to this and I could not figure it out. I thought that was just a normal part of the background and not really anything special. Is this the space heater and part? I thought that was later. No, this is this. I got so screwed up on this. I kept trying to make it past the Cooligans and not getting what, and then when I saw that I had to put something there, I was like, what does a corner made of brick tell me to put here? Here's the weird thing, too. The fucking thing doesn't even stay in that corner. It goes into the middle of the path. <laughs> it's completely silly. It, it's not well told to you at all. Oh, I don't even have to fight them. They're, they're just... There's also the fact that the dead. heater is, like, way smaller than the dotted line that you're supposed to fit it into, so even if you have the heater on you, you're probably not going to think that's what fits there. Yeah, so, uh, and the thing with that is, like, up to this point, for the most part, everything's been the right size for the, the screen spot there, or pretty close. I don't know if there was, like, some last-minute changes or something, though, but I always thought that was a really bad slip-up, where I remember I got stuck on this when I got here the first time, and it was, it was one of the few bad parts of Chapter 4. So don't worry, I found something about it that sucks. <laughs> proud of you, buddy, proud of you. Ah, uh, thank you. I knew you'd see it my way. Man, that is powerful! Yeah, it's a rare-ish rare, rare -ish sticker, I believe, even though it's not colored that. A lot of the, a lot of the like, spike-ish enemies and their, their stickers are pretty good. Generally, an area-specific sticker is going to be pretty strong for the area, so... Yeah. Just use that and get some free coins. Are you going to go in the doorway, or...? No. Okay. Oh, right. Didn't this also need the space heater? 
Or did it just need anything that's like fire based, like a fire flower? I don't remember, but I know what you mean. Uh, can I just use my Hello, fire flower and it'll be okay? Use any fire base. Nope, fire flower, fire flower, fire based. Fire hammer? Oh, yep. Melting the snow cone. You got the pipe in a cave! Mm. <laughs> so you do remember this area. Remember this part better than I did. It literally said pipe in a cave on screen. No, I know that, but I just mean the fact that you didn't go in the cave right away to like look and see what was here. Oh, no, that's just how I play games. <laughs> oh. That. Because this, is, I believe, is the actual path that we need to get to 5-2, but there's another path we didn't even take that actually leads to, like, a dead end, if memory serves. Mm. There goes that. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Landed right uh... on The worst is you know it's there, and you get ready to swing, and then it just doesn't work. And then you get in the, the predetermined fight, too. I find it so hilarious that, like, their simple civil disobedience to, like, of have not having experience points, where, like, people were criticizing them that battles were worthless in this game, so, oh, I got a solution. Let's make it so that battles are just mandatory most of the time. Then it won't be an issue. It's like, or you could just have experience points. <laughs> I still have to fight it? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I better have enough time to get back up to that spike up there. Uh, hello? <laughs> right, I'm, in I'm invincible, so I can't start any fights, because that would be helpful. Uh, I think this will kill both. Yep. Yeah, ice enemies. Or ice enemy. And I got another snowball. Quick check for I feel him like blocks. how the snowy trees look. It's, like, it's clever how they fit together. Alright, was there another dude whipping snowballs? Yep, right there. Oh, but I can actually just walk past this one. <laughs> Top class. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this anyways! One fire flower left. Why not? Pop. Pop. Wow, that did 28 damage to him. Jeez. <laughs> oh, and I got my flower back. Even better. Oh, God. Ah, I tried to walk yeah, past it. Behaves differently. I don't want to fight you. I don't want. I gotta fight you. I don't really wanna fight no more. I mean, thank God the battle theme's catchy. I don't know. I think it's. I think the way it starts is kind of annoying. I like the real. way it starts, especially especially if you get the um, the critical hit in or like the starting hit. I don't know that. Da -da 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 -da. Like when you get the critical hit, I, that's the part that I find annoying. You don't like trills on a saxophone? I mean, that's all it is. I, mean, I don't know. I um. I'm not really sure like what it is I don't like. I just find it annoying like hearing it in succession a lot. Summer um, Carlos is crying. I think uh, another thing that would make him cry is that, you know, people always tell me that the new games have such good soundtracks and I'm like, yeah, it's good, but I wouldn't say it's like up there with the first three because like in the first three, you have so much more variety in the soundtrack and it tries so many different kinds of music. Um, and I like that a lot more than just every song being jazz, you know? It's okay, it's not that I you, just... can ju you can just say you don't like jazz. <laughs> no, I like jazz, I just think it's better when you have more variety. The music's good, it's just I prefer the variety of the earlier soundtracks because I think that goes a long way to making each area kind of memorable. Eh, fair enough. I think Sticker Star does that decently well. Or not, God damn it, I keep saying Sticker Star when I mean Origami King! Origami King did have like some songs that weren't jazz and I appreciated those, like Autumn Mountain was really good. Yeah, like, each each area of that game was, like, a different instrumental style. Mm. 
Maybe I just didn't get far enough in the game to like hear the variety, so that's why I think that. Tom says, hot take, I didn't like Super's soundtrack. I don't even remember Super's soundtrack, to be perfectly honest. It's not as good as the first two. I like the tile pool. I like the ultimate show. Uh, I like the main title theme. That's a good song. But yeah, I do I do agree that it's not super great. Like when he was pointing it out. I I think I should say like first to Kirby. Oh my God, stop clawing my leg. <laughs> he keeps trying to jump up on me, but because he's like 19 years old, he's not so good at it. So he claws into my leg to avoid falling and it really hurts. Man, Bagel does that and he he's done that since he was two. So oh, some cats, some cats just do that. Castle Black is really good. Shame we're not going there yet. Sort that. Okay, we don't have to worry about getting in fights this time around. Just thanks to like one solid clear, we've already got most of our money back. Oh yeah, people are like mentioning Kirby's age. Kirby is almost 19. He will be 19 in three and a half months. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. Yeah, he is such an old cat. <laughs> oh, I adopt Kirby. I adopted him when I was about to start middle school. Jeez. That's an e camera. E camera. You're old. You're old. <laughs> You've got multiple chins, cause you're old. Are you are you singing to your cat, reminding him how old he is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just in case you forgot, cat. Yeah, I just wanted him to know. Ah, oh, damn, I don't have any door stickers. On his 17th birthday, we actually watched our rated movies with him around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> don't worry, on my 16th birthday, I didn't let him drive my car. Okay, I'm just making sure. I'm not that stupid. Could be a Toons situation if you're not careful. Kirby seems the type. Uh, do I have anything crummy I want to put in there? Do I have anything that's not leveled up? I found out that a guy that I knew when I was like 13, he actually wrote a walkthrough for Sticker Star when he was like in his 20s, like long after I didn't know him anymore, but I don't have any way of contacting him. <laughs> Does the walkthrough not have like a link to his info, or is there just no way to do it otherwise? I don't. I don't think it does. I think like he used to have a Twitter account though, but he uh, got rid of it. Smart man. Yeah, yeah. I miss when Twitter was the same Facebook. <laughs> How long ago was that? When it started? Like 2011. It was a great place. Like everyone loved it back in like 2011. Let's see, I can't jump on him when he's got the snowball above his head. Can I hit him with a hammer? I forget. Oh, oh that still killed him. All right. All right, so let's go put back that pipe. That Go goes. Put that cave back. Um, so that tweet I made last week where I said that somebody recognized me in public with a mask on because I said, yeah, I tried Origami King and thought it sucked and like someone recognized me based on that. Uh, that week I was telling that story to other people and I got recognized based on that. So like, Jesus. <laughs> getting recognized in public with a mask on by saying that Origami King sucked happened to me like four times in the span of a week. You lead an like, on life, Every Mr. time Kama. I said it, I might have a problem. Yeah, you might. <laughs> have you ever considered that I wouldn't have to say that Paper Mario sucks if they just made good fucking games? <laughs> <That> <laughs> Not like the something direction that, like, I thought you were going with it. Oh, shoot. It, it sounds like something that, like, an abusive friend would say. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Why is Paper Mario Sticker Star gaslighting me? This is very rude. <laughs> yeah, just win. 
just make good games. Like, it. and that's hard. why we get mad. Also, don't do that to your friends. It's, it's fucking rude. Yeah, no, don't. <laughs> uh, I guess the hurl hammer is the one I'm thinking of. Do I have any hurl hammers right now? I do, but they're shinies. That's Every why we time use fire. I hear Sergeant Connery say "fuck it" adds a month to my life span. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I was laughing. I missed the throw. Damn it! <laughs> so the thing that's so frustrating, uh, people are like always bringing up like reasons why Paper Mario can't go back to how it was and everything like that, or like, oh, like you know, this person doesn't like it or whatever though, but. The thing is, is that the team that's in charge of the modern day games have said on numerous occasions they have more or less full creative control over things. So it's a case where they could do it, they just don't wanna. I mean, someone there likes the direction the games currently are. They may not be selling like they used to, or why well, I don't know the numbers for that for sure. Let me look that up. I know that, I know that, um, Sticker Star did well, but Color Splash was like a horrible financial failure. Um, Origami King, VG Charts, let's see. I know VG Charts is not the most reliable, but let's see what this says. Um, I'd be willing to bet that Origami King was successful just because it's a Switch game. Oh, I did something. Oh, right! Right! This scene! I'm so glad it came yeah, up Yeah, this thing. I always think that this is in Color Splash and not, or, and not a... Sticker star, now I'm doing it. It's time for beauty and grace. Heart of a woman, heart of a man. It sold three million copies. Heart of a woman, heart of a man. Both can know of love's grace. Both can know of love's grace. Here's a goat. <laughs> Just try not to get egg on your face. Thanks, Murdo! Try not to get egg on your face. Uh -huh. And that's it. Is that is that you mimicking Birdo's sound? Oh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna just say because 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 Birdo does have that so that intonation. Nice. I assume that's what you were going for. Yeah, I was just going. I was just like making it sound like if Birdo was actually t like singing what it. Would you know sound like, they're gonna get someone to sing as her at some point in one of these games because like she makes an appearance like that in every modern Paper Mario, doesn't she? I she, would she definitely love does. It if they did. She. I actually really like her Origami King one. Yeah, Birdo, like, modern day is always like, bah, 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 bah. But I actually don't remember what she does. Well, actually, because I never played Color Splash, so I don't know for sure. What does she do in Color Splash, Chet? I think she has another song in that one. I think. She appears in Color Splash. Yeah. Uh, in Lake Park. Another musical number, is what people are saying. Yeah, it's the same gag again. Okay. Oh, hello. This is as far as you go. I remember growing up and like, uh, like as an adult, I saw so many people like talking about how awful the voice acting was in Super Mario Advance. And there was even a fan patch to remove it. And that was the only way that I played Mario 2 as a kid. So that was just how the game was to me. And I didn't think it was annoying or weird. I thought that was just how the game was. I don't think the voice acting in Mario Advance is bad. I just think it's oh, like it, it happens too much. Just every time you pick something up. Just what I needed. Yeah, just what I needed. Just what I needed. <laughs> it's like uh, in Link to the Past, the GBA port, they put in Toon Link's the, sound effects. The or like, ha, yeah. Yeah. So, so he's just, he's going like, ha, 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 all the time. And it's just like, okay, that's a bit much now. Mm. I do like what the bosses say. I had trouble understanding them as a kid where um, Birdo's like, I'm ready for you this time. I thought she was like, I'm ready for your love life, and I didn't understand what that meant. I mean, meant. she also <laughs> might be ready for your love life, to be fair. <laughs> I, I would take a... some love life advice from Birdo. Uh, I oh, sorry, you're right. It was awkward the... time links. My bad. Not not uh, Wind Waker. Hmm. I couldn't understand the you've come a long way that Roberto says because it's so distorted. I legit could not understand what it was supposed to be saying. Yeah, have some bombs. Step right up if you're ready to get Oops. toasted. Ah, that would have killed if I had gotten the actual prompt. Uh-oh. My misheard lyric stories are the best, somebody said. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Crap. 
That is a lot of damage we've taken already. There you go. Now let's hope they drop some hearts for me. Mm -hmm. So this is the new level, I, yeah. I went to I, uh, I went to four five because I wanted okay, to excite because this is the other path that takes you down. I'm trying to remember what actually stops you when you're going this way. Hmm. I don't remember this path all that well. I think the background's pretty, like the, the way the cave looks and the snow falling. It's nice. As a kid, I always heard Mario say Mexico instead of Let's Go. I, Tim and I have talked about this where like I've heard Sick Pickle Okie Dokie and Tim thought it was Nut Pickle Okie Dokie. <laughs> Both nice. clearly the same thing. Oh, I need another scrap. That's what it is, because there's the actual ski lift. Oh, we get to go here when you unlock that. That's so good. Oh, gosh, I love this part. All right, but unfortunately, we can't do that just yet. Uh, I'm actually also going to go pick up at least a door or two, because we've been bumping into a bunch of those. But I think that might actually prompt the Bowser Jr. fight I was talking about. Make sure to take a break before you feel tired. There it is. There we go. Ted, yeah! Hey, long time no see, Mario. Aren't you looking chipper? Mm, and you've got an even rarer sticker than last time, don't you? Yeah, well, that's really annoying. Give it, give it, give it now! Ah, oh, you're that spoiled brat we bumped into earlier. You're a fine one to talk, Kirstie. <laughs> fine, we'll do battle with you. I have to warn you, though. We're way stronger than we were before. No, we aren't, because there's no leveling up in this game! Did you ever think about that? <laughs> I mean, we did we did get some uh, some health extensions. I guess, but uh, damn it, we have more powerful stickers. I guess. <laughs> yeah, way stronger because of items is what people are saying. All right, let's let's use the old boombox, and then let's just stab him with a stiletto. Nice and easy. We're like dancing to the music in stilettos. Oh yeah, the song. I forget if this is supposed to be timed or if I'm supposed to just mash. I'm not sure. Attack power doubled. That that song, that is the only appearance that the um the star song from Mario Land 2 has ever reappeared in a Nintendo game. And it's so sad because it deserves better. Man, uh, it's jamming it into the eye. Child doesn't need to see anymore. <laughs> Someone finds that. He has four HP left. And he healed for 20. Well, uh, someone found that hot. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder who. Uh... <laughs> Most of the and internet dead. is the correct answer. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you're nothing but a big bully. I'm telling my dad on you. And my dad's so shiny right now. He's way, way stronger than both of you combined. You better be ready to cry a lot. I've cried so much for the fate of this franchise. Oh, God. People are... Uh, Pika Spen Dragon said, I'm trying, but my cleats are stuck in your corneas. I can't wait to show Tim Spongebob meets the Strangler. That is... That is, without a doubt, one of my favorite episodes of the show. It's... That is a contender for best episode for me. It's so good. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, all, we're in season three now, so we're getting close to it. I think The Bully is our next episode, which I'm looking forward to that one, too. Well, let's see, let's grab the radiator. I love SpongeBob meets the Strangler. <laughs> let's grab the boombox. And let's grab the high heels. Hi, I want to throw some things. Sorry, sling a thing. Uh, let's get the boombox back. Yeah, without a doubt, one of the best items in the game. Oh, I actually wanted, I probably should have done the stiletto first because that's where that would have gone. What else should we take with us? If you have access to the water gun, that is the best item in the game. 
Uh, we don't. <laughs> let's, well, we got the goat from Birdo, so you know what? For Birdo, yeah. for her, let's let's take the goat. Let's do the goat. I don't remember what the goat does, but apparently it's a large sticker. Uh, oh, anyway, let's take the radiator. Probably useful for something. I remember the radiator is useful for the final boss fight. I'm wanting to say. Stay perky. Uh, let's sort things. There we go. Water gun is a blue door item. Okay, thank you. I know I know that speed running and challenge runs do do the water guns. I remember the goat being useful in the next world. In the jungle? That would make sense. Now we only have to remember it for a whole year. <laughs> Uh, Outlook Point has the shop. You can't buy secret door stickers anywhere but here! That's called Monopoly, baby! <laughs> and we just, See, we might as well just take three of them. Toad, you're actually funny when you're not just talking about being made of paper all the time. See, you, you can be funny. He's made of economics instead. I, I believe in you. Capitalist humor is where it's at. Drake Diggin, thank you. Or sorry, that's not Drake, that's gonna be Silver Kaze. Drake's usually involved in those. Thank you so much for the raid. I just realized I don't actually have my my quick raid on here, so I guess we'll have to go with, with the classic one man. Upon murdering the one-man raid, Robert Cop turned himself into the authorities. He's currently serving a life sentence inside John's computer. <laughs> he died! Hooray! The audience that only watches you or only watches Tear must be very confused hanging out here sometimes. I don't think I've ever seen that one, now that, that I've, like... So that's our that's our one of our one man raids that we use. Uh, that one was God damn it! I'm gonna say it's Trojan, but I'm betting it's Puppet Master because that's literally a joke in the fucking video. Uh, but yeah, no, it's a um, it is a small video that uh, one of the viewers made, and I threw it in the rotation because it made me laugh every time I saw it. Oh, that's sweet. It's Puppet Master who made that one. God damn it! I knew it. The, the fact that the jokes in there throws me off every time. Because I always get Trojan and Puppet Master's names confused somehow. Because they both, one does a lot of audio editing, one does a lot of video editing, so I keep getting the two mixed up. Hmm. Ooh, look at that big boy. This part's neat. I like the way the ice looks. It's a little hard on the eyes, but, you know. Show them the new raid video when you get the chance. Uh, next. Uh oh, hang on. We actually have a problem. Uh, uh -oh. I need to get a charge cord. How dare they release on a game system that has a battery? Don't no, they know that's I just, I, so I, the 3DS doesn't come up that much on streams anymore, so I keep forgetting to charge it. But I also started it with two notches charged, so I thought it would be okay oh. till at least break, and it's already flashing red. You know, that's an issue that I've been having lately, so I, I've been playing my 3DS again because it packs. I brought it with for Street Pass, and I was also playing through Planet Robobot that week. Um, and... The, playing my 3DS again brought me back to the dark time before USB-C, where everything took like nine hours to charge. I was not used to that at all. I'm so used to everything charging in minutes. <laughs> Whew, for a second I thought I didn't catch it in time, because the flashing stopped as I was plugging it in. Water gun is in Goomba Fortress, which is like one three or one four. I mean, I can go back and get it. But we'll, it's the uh... final level. Of world one. Hmm? I said it's the final level of World One. Oh, you looked it up? No, I just know. Oh, okay. You know something about Paper Mario Sticker Star? That's impossible. I I sure have learned a lot about this game that I can't stand. <laughs> You, re you really have, Emil. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You really have. I have dedicated so much energy to this oh, thing that I do not bullshit? like. Ah! Uh, <laughs> the, the way he, like, flips it up is just really funny to me. I forget if I can go any higher up here, but I know the path is to the right. You gotta, you gotta 
know what you what you dislike. You gotta know what you hate. <laughs> and Emil right. does know that very, very well. Oh, there is a door up there. Listen, my dislike of you, Gold Sticker Man, Star, my dislike of you, you is not out of ignorance. Doing? It's out of well-researched, methodical dislike. <laughs> I've done my homework on my hatred of you. Yes. I have my PhD in it. What? Whoa. The alert was just like, cool. what? So when you said that. That's right, boys. Mondo Koo. <laughs> uh, which one's the right one? Not that one. I assume it's, it's going to be the one without spikes in it. Oh, the ice bros are bull. The, yeah, look Did at these you see that maneuvers. curve shot? Yeah, the impossible maneuvers that those things do after they throw them. It's nuts. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I want it. you to watch the. Uh, <laughs> I want you to watch the ice bros closely because they'll throw it to the right and then it'll go like Phew! to the left and curve around to hit you. It's nuts. The the ice bros are just bull. The, some of their throws are like impossible to avoid. All right, let's try that hammer again. Too early. Bop. See, I keep thinking it should be when it's the biggest, but it's actually when it's fading off of the biggest. Yeah, it, it flashes for like a second, and like that's what you want to do. There we go. Yeah. See, that doesn't seem natural to me. It does seem like it should be at the like the flashiest point of it, not when it's fading. But I mean, eh. We got the timing down better than we did in the last last time we did this. So that's that's at least an improvement. At least there's that. Maybe you want to hammer the spikes or something? That's what I'm trying to remember. I know you can get down there. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah. That's right here? Oh, yeah, it's just a breakaway. Okay. So shout out to this music. This music is called Snow Rise, if you want to look it up. It's, uh, it's one of the best songs in the game, and I highly recommend it. It genuinely is really happy feeling, and it's, it's a song that I even play during the holidays. I like it that much. Trying to think, do you think we've missed any health extensions up to this point? I wouldn't be able to tell you that, if I'm being real. 60 health is good, though. Yeah, I know we're not, like, hurting for it. I'm just trying to make sure we're not in a, in a terrible spot. Always a few health off. Yeah, it won't kill because it loses one damage off of uh, each successive jump. Damn, I did it again. Let us see in the chat is saying that uh, the world's boss theme is pretty good. I don't remember the music though, but I do remember actually really liking the boss at the end of this world where it's one of the few times in the game where I think it actually like has good writing. The ones in chapter three are still there if you need them. Sniff it or whiff it, what was the other one? Cause I thought, like again, I thought we had sniff it or whiff it's. There's one in 4-2. Oh, damn it. I tried to jump, but I jump is also peel. Uh, well, I gotta get the timing on this right. Head to the end of 1-3 again. Hmm? 1-3. Uh, sorry, 3-1, three, three one, not 1-3. One, 3-1. Three. Three one. Okay. Now, there we go. I'm wanting to say that there's exactly 100 hit points in this game that you can get. That sounds right. I think that's how they did it. I am amazed that the stream that has been going on for years that you guys remember which hearts we didn't get. That is incredible. Some people straight up watch them right before we do it again. That is, like, that is amazing. Like, thank you for God. your support, because that is nuts. Uh, 
I know that the um the uh, TRG out of context account, um, which by the way I think is an excellent account. I, I love that thing. But uh, they they tweeted out like highlights of some of the previous Sticker Star streams the other day, so I knew that they were rewatching them. I guess I could have just. Used that. <laughs> I, I remember that they tweeted out the clip of the Hey Mario, I made of paper! Isn't that funny? That rant. Sorry, what were we gonna say, John? No, sorry, I, I just realized you probably haven't heard that cow alert before. <laughs> no, that, that was my first time. Well, now you're probably gonna hear it a bunch, Ow. unfortunately, so apologies in advance. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I'll laugh every single time like I do with all the other jokes we repeat. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. You'll also get a chance to hear him next week when you help me through, help me start the playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> that cow alert is the same exact type. Of, it's the same exact genre of humor as the All Star. I said no. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's literally that's all it is. It's just yeah. Instead of it being cowabunga, it just cut off at the cow. cow? Mm -hmm. But it does have multiple different cows that show up. And some people, a mini game that some people have played is like one of them is like a one percent chance or two percent chance for Rosa John to show up instead, and uh -huh. she just shows up and says, "Don't you dare say it!" <laughs> and then Mikey goes, "Cow!" And then she just kicks him in the face, and he goes, "Oh, shell shock!" That's it. That's the whole bit. <laughs> it's funny. You and Josh both have just innumerable alerts, and it's it's so impressive to see. Both of you have hundreds of alerts, and there's spreadsheets dedicated to how to trigger all of them, and like, which ones well, are I rare. Well, I mean, uh, Josh might have more in that case, because mine is just a list. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I jump over them. Uh, mine is just on a, a little picture underneath the screen. Mm. Under the stream, you'll see the list of all the alerts. Oh, okay. It's not yeah, that Josh many, can... actually. It's just that there's a lot of random Wario's that can happen. Oh, hey! Speaking mm. of health extensions, look what's right there. There we go. Yeah, Josh has hundreds of alerts. We have 130-ish Wario variants. And then we have a bunch of... Damn it. And we have a bunch of other alerts that have, like, variants. Like, Cow has about four or five variants. Although people keep hitting the same one, I've noticed. Uh, the Rosa John one got changed up, so that one's got a couple variants. Uh, Ryu's got a couple variants now. There's a surprising amount of variety on the alerts. That's impressive. And yet um, the randomizer still likes favoring the same, like, five. <laughs> well, there's Beefaroo. Beefaroo! Oh, yeah. Beefaroo's got a bunch, too. I met oh, hey, the one of the hidden Beefaroos! Oh! I met the creator of Beefaroo at, uh, at, uh, PAX. Um... Oh, you met Rhyme! Yeah. Now it's Rhyme time! Alright, I guess, Prime, I keep, I keep using the, the one they use on the Beefaroo, but yeah. Yeah, Rhyme also worked on the uh, the Coliseum bumper, which I'm sure you were aware of. Yes, they told me about that in person, how they were... I think they were responsible for the Jules, Jack, and Carlos concert part of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. That We, we rewatched that bumper earlier today where it was in my recommended, so Tim and I just put it on. It was great. Nice. I, I was so impressed by that. The, um... Oh, gosh, like... It's all so good. I like the the hiker dance, like being adapted into the into the karate one. That was like a perfect transition. Um, the artwork for the Mifa one was really stunning. Uh, gosh, like, oh gosh, the way that it opens matches the style of Rhythm Heaven so well. Like all of them are so good. Yeah, no, those those folks have all knocked it out of the park every year. So I'm excited to see what they try to do next year. Yeah, me too, me too. That was, um, that bumper was a surprise. That was one of the few bumpers that never ended up on my desk, like, before the event started. So oh, yeah, because specifically, like, I, I asked, like, I asked Ben, who was the, the lead of the team, he's just like, yo, do you want me to show it to him in advance, or do you want me to surprise them all? And he's like, yeah, surprise. Yeah, so that was I had right to show it to MC to... simply because MC has to air it, but other than that, like, only me and MC saw it. 
Yeah, that was. I think that's the right call. Um, at the time that it aired, everyone in the um in the South Carolina house, we were all together in one room, sitting around the TV watching the stream. And when it started, we were all like, "Huh?" Because none of us had seen it. And then as it was going on, we were all just like cheering during the whole thing and just so surprised at this thing. And we were so happy that we'd never seen it before, and we were all seeing it together for the first time. I don't know what the reaction was in uh, in uh, California or. Um, I'd imagine or it was the same. Yeah, like I I wasn't there for those though, but I can say the South Carolina house was just so just wildly happy when we saw that for the first time though. So for those of you that worked on it and wanted to know what it was like for us, uh, that was our experience with that bumper. My apologies to those watching the VOD that don't watch the stream on the regular, because I've gotten complaints in the past about alerts, and then we instigated the cow spam. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I like cow. Can't you just accept that I like cow and put up with the annoyance? <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying, like... No, I'm talking... Oh. No, I was talking to the, to the you know, people watching the VOD. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> That's another one of my favorite ones, because there's just, there's like two variants on that one, but the Dr. Reed one always makes me laugh every time. Because he just goes like, are you my brother? <laughs> you tell me! Oh no. Poor cow. <laughs> Don't worry, the cow's fine. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Oh, I don't. Oreo's face is great. If you're thinking of following the stream after the stream, I swear they don't go off this often. <laughs> Unless it's a special occasion, and surprise, that's what today is. <laughs> the Among Us. You can always tell the audience that is yours at Throne Controllers because they always say five. Yeah, five and eight are the ones that, that happen. I'm just like, I'm sorry I did this to you all. You need to just, you need to make five and eight the brutal questions on every board, then that'll learn them. <laughs> uh, I, think I think the chat would try to get them to pick it more often because of that, though. The chat, the, <laughs> the, the, the people in the audience, soul. rather. All right, I couldn't believe the sell your soul thing and how that caught on. <laughs> that one both was surprising and not even remotely surprising. It was just great. Just the whole thing. I, I like how we were in the South during that show, too. And I just imagine, like, somebody, like, walking by with their child and just from inside this Eight. room, they hear, like, a thousand Eight. people chanting, sell your soul, sell your soul. <laughs> how did that get me? What? Eight. Yeah, I told you, they're a bull. Eight. Yeah, look at that! He's like throwing at you from off screen! It's nuts! Their aim is like psychic. There's a guy who did a minimum challenge run on YouTube, and they were the worst part of it, hands down. Minimum to like not even any like health, just whatever you found on screen? No, or like minimum damage. Oh, minimum damage. Yeah, like they were trying to beat the game without getting hit. Ooh, that makes sense. Ow. Uh, do I have anything that can hit both, or should I just go for the extra turn? Nah, let's go for the spin. <laughs> oh no! Tenders. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it still didn't kill him. They're trying so hard to get the Rosa cow. <laughs> 
It's okay, your fruits will pay off one day. Is that the word we're using? kind of clever. Oh no! Uh, yeah, bleh, bleh, oh. Good. Sort, sort. There's definitely room. Free door. <laughs> I like how that uh, more than half a page was just being taken up by clutter from the bad inventory system. Yeah, I really hate that you have to auto sort. Tender. I think this might be a block place to this, like. This. I'm pretty it. sure this is for upgrading some things. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to say I played through most of the game without being aware that this was a thing. I think a fair amount of people did. I remember just kind of walking over and being all like, oh, I guess there's nothing here and then I could carry on no problem. Like, there wasn't anything I seemed to be missing out on, so... Oh, wait, give me one of every hammer. Okay. <laughs> oh, Alright. Or sure. every special hammer. You can have this one. Which I've clearly been using based on how many I have of them there. <laughs> I guess since you gave me this one, this can go here too. Maybe I should make a cow. You want to make a cow? Yeah, I want to make a cow. All right. Oh, what cow, what cow would you make? Are you my brother, Rick? Uh... <laughs> His brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. Uh, cow Mikazi? Cow Mikazi. What happens in the Cow Mikazi alert? Uh, <laughs> it blows up and becomes a burger. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Emil, are you just hungry? Uh, maybe a bit. I so I I've spent like the last week of my life constipated, and it only just started flowing a few days ago. So like, I my GI tract has been all out of whack, and I get hungry at really weird times and stuff. I'm just shaking my head. Is this what I think it is? It is the Enig Mansion. Oh boy, hang on. Enig Mansion. Uh, let's pop back here for a minute. Hey, you guys are all saying TMI in response to that. Have you ever noticed that TMI is just Tim with two of the letters reversed? <laughs> He's not wrong, folks. Think about it. <laughs> uh, okay, not much room there. Should we go get the... I'm trying to remember. <laughs> so, I believe there were ghosts there and you need the vacuum? That sounds right. But do we not currently have a vacuum? Guess we just gotta go buy one. Well, here's the thing. Have we have we found one at one point? Oh yeah, we did. There we go. Vacuum. Pick the vacuum, correct? The bill comes to ah. later. <laughs> you just want to do creepy toad whispers. 69. I don't have enough room. <laughs> Gold men, do you know what you're doing? This is already sorted, right? <laughs> yes, it is. I don't. We gotta go use some of these stickers. Uh, I think the right. leaf is just there for selling. I don't think it actually does anything. Uh, what? where's, so it's been a bit. Where's the museum access again? I think it's in that house and then you just go down the stairs. I can't remember if we've already put it in the museum or not. I remember it was really, yeah, it's, it's, I know it's really accessible. Yeah, there we go. The light's telling you where there's stickers that you haven't stuck yet that are in your inventory is the only thing resembling game design that I can think of. Oh, right, thank you. Uh, but I'm trying to remember what's what's what. The So the thing stickers are the blue on the left and then the okay. regular stickers are the red on the right. Thank you. I don't want to get rid of too much of my inventory, but I do have some extras. We're having a sale. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
I don't know if there was ever anything that came up in the search to find out who Hans the Arms Dealer was voiced by, because I know that uh, he's not credited in the game. No, I don't like think anyone ever did. There's additional voices listed in the game, and it's got to be one of those. I liked how in-depth we got talking about Hans. Like, you could tell we were just going, you know, loopy from being in the recording room for six-plus hours Dude, sometime. Dude, we had played game. so much of that bloody game. Yeah. Our playthrough was also long for Dokapon standards because of just how much we were screwing with each other. We really weren't. That's really? the thing. We really weren't. I have, I, I've, I've seen longer interns playthroughs of Dokapon. Oh, okay. I, I guess I just saw some live streams of it where there were like about 140 weeks, so I thought that was about norm, but I don't know. I like that one part where I was all like, Hans is getting existential. They're having a sale somewhere. <laughs> and actually, you know, new one brings up a good point. We also only had three players and not four. It would have been, yeah, it would have been so thing. much worse if we had had four. <laughs> yeah, each episode would have been at least five minutes longer. The Canadianator. Ugh. <laughs> Don't lie. You thought that was hilarious even while it was happening. Dude, you can I, I was, you could tell I was mad as hell, but at the same you, time, you, it was so absurd it was starting to crack me. Yeah, it, you are laughing in that recording. Cause I, I cause I am like, I'm like, I was legit mad. There's no question I was legit mad, but I'm just like, this is so absolutely stupid. I just can't even keep a straight face while I'm mad. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell that, like, as mad as you are, you still think it's hilarious. <laughs> I, it's, it's not that the name was hilarious. It's just that you're just like, I am, like, freaking out at you right now. And your idea is to drag it out even more. As no, I am, like, of course freaking out. No, I knew, I knew you didn't think the Canadian air was funny. I didn't. I know it wasn't the name itself, though. It was just the absurdity that I was actually, like, provoking you in this situation. <laughs> <sighs> And it's like, we've been there for so long, and I'm, like, wasting even more time to just be a dick. <laughs> where the- where the hell- there it is, finally. Uh, you can waste one of your door stickers on not getting an item. I mean, I might as well. Oh, Kirby's meowsing. An alienator sounds like a kid's next door villain. <laughs> Have like a big beard and like dressed in flannel and like have like an axe and like a pet beaver. How is our library right now? 20 oh, battle Kirby stickers, no thing stickers. What do you say? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. Bye. I already did this once. Don't need to do it again. Um, Kirby was trying to hit up Tim and then he just said no and he's coming back over. Hi, hmm? Kirby. This is the fourth time you're bugging me, I think. Hello, Kirby. How about I just bug you back and then you leave me alone? How about that? Here, I'm holding you. You don't like that. Kirby's not good. He does. <laughs> They're trying so hard to get the Rosa version. So it's you said it's about a 1 to 2% chance. It is a 2% chance because 2% milk because I'm clever like that. Oh, in, in quotation that's marks. Good. <laughs> clever. Um, actually, John, there's also a such thing as 1% milk. No. I know there is. There's also a thing as whole milk, but I don't know what I would use as a number to represent whole. I... Real question that I asked a few weeks ago was, so why is there, like, 1% milk, 2% milk, and then 100% milk? Where did, like, the other 98 go? And well, then I found <laughs> out that whole milk is actually just, like, 3%. <laughs> Yeah, it's like 3.25 or something like that. Yeah, I... <laughs> I thought whole meant whole, you know? Like, okay. it was 100% of the fat that's usually in there. I think 100% fat in milk would just be cheese, because it would be solid <laughs> at that point. Yeah, I thought it was the... I thought it was the 1% wasn't the consistency of the whole thing. I thought it was 1% of the usual amount of fat. What? 
Why is there no music here? There we go. It's because it's devoid of the soul. Oh, it's also well, the, because we got rid of all the poison. Yeah, the poison being cleaned up, uh, kind of a nice touch, actually. All right, now just Which one of you will be the points. lucky winner of the shoe to the f cow face? What do you mean, shoe to the turtle face? Oh, shoe to the turtle face. Where is that heart? They said it was at the end of the area. Yeah. It's not going to be worth the wait, is the funny thing. It's super not worth the wait. But the dedication is admirable. <laughs> I swear if we're talking over it when it happens finally, because it's just been so long that we don't hear it anymore. Well, no, so here's the thing. It's the only alert, it's the only cow variant that doesn't, that does the jingle and then doesn't say cow immediately. Because, mm -hmm. like, Rosa jumps in and says, don't you dare say it. So, like, it will be different enough it'll catch you, catch you off guard. Hmm, okay. I mean, chat, worst case, I can just show him the damn alert. I'm looking at pictures of bunnies to make myself happier than the sticker star. Oh. <laughs> 3D! <laughs> Shit! Just play your fucking music! Oh, bye, Wild Luigi. <laughs> a sniff and survive? Really? Damn. Guess you whiffed it. Boom. I'm just looking at my alerts. There's not even messages attached. It's just people trying to get it. <laughs> It's like trying to pull Cosmos <laughs> at this point. Jesus. I still get tweets from people telling me about like the weird ways they found her. Like people starting the game with her, or just other other such luck. Oh, there's it they're right, it's just there. That's really weird. That's really weird. I guess they had 95 health in the game and decided that, wow, that's a bad number. Let's just throw one literally anywhere. Why would I think to come back here and check that? Because it's Sticker Star, John. It doesn't have any respect for your time or patience. There's no rhyme or reason to what it does. It just does. Isn't it magical? Oh, somebody said Ursula was their last blade. I'm so sorry. You're clearly meant to do her quest, like, slowly over the course of the game, and she's one of the most common rare blades to complement that, but I knew that naturally someone out there had to just have extremely bad luck and get her last, so they had nothing left to do but grind. Door hunting could be why you'd go back there. I mean, but you get the doors before you finish up in World 3. Yeah. So I don't think that's that's as strong as you think it is as a reason. You also wouldn't play all the level through to the end. You'd probably just go in, do the door, get the thing, and then hit exit level. Oh, right. D-pad doesn't work. Well done. Uh, all right. Question for you, Emil. This is normally when I would take a break on a stream. Do you want to take a break now? Right before we hop into the Enig Mansion? Um, sure. I could, I could go for a break. I probably could go refill my iced tea. I have some fresh lemons downstairs. Okay. Okay. And that's what we'll do. Kirby is nuzzling into my chest. Don't worry, the cows are gonna keep happening. <laughs> there's Gosh, like a, no, there's wanna, like ten lined up. I don't want to leave because I don't want it to happen while I'm gone. <laughs> there's like ten lined up. <laughs> Maybe I'll I'll go when it stops. <laughs> They're gonna keep extending it on purpose. I hope you're aware of this. Oh no. Oh no. 
need to watch more Dr. Stone. I've only seen like five episodes of it. I can't tell Venna tried a couple times. I'm trying to figure out if Jarrett comes out, then there's only a couple left. No. Wait. Tender. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There's another six lined up. Okay. Cow. <laughs> five. Five. Cow. Back to six. <laughs> Cow. Five. If this is how long five of them is, we've absolutely done more than a hundred and still not gotten it. Four. Three. Oh, there's three again. Ah! I've got the sub list I was gonna months. read out, but I'm just like, yeah, all right. They're, they're trying, they're, it's back up to six now. I can't wait for now 69 to come out. I'll buy it. They're trying so hard. Where are they on the now count? Let me actually see if now 69's now? happened yet. If not, if it's already come out, I'll order one. <laughs> yeah, now 69 already exists. It came out in 2008. <laughs> oh, so you're a little behind the times, what you're saying. All right. <laughs> All right, how about Kids Bop 69? Has that happened yet? Uh, Maybe not that one. <laughs> There's a lot of parodies that are called Kids Bop 69 that have come up on Google. Cow. Cow. I think that, that list you might be looking at might be the European one, because I know that the European list of now albums is way ahead of North Cow. America's. Kids Bop stopped numbering their CDs in 2019. The last numbered one was 40, though, but since then they've done, like, Kids Bop 2021, All Time Greatest Hits birthday edition. Like, they give them names like that. Mm. I guess they didn't want Kids Bop 69 existing. Uh, now 69. Man, I always said that this was going to be, like, the crowning event of my life when Now 69 happened, and I missed it by 10 years. <laughs> Seems fitting. Well, since this is not going to stop anytime soon, I'm just going to read eggs. Uh, Yuki Mizuno, Sh uh, Sailor Sylveon Moon, and I Hive and Gokai, thank you all for the gift sub bomb. Special shout out to Gokai, giving us up to uh, Kao, Ma Kao Makazi. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, so you're right, the European version came out in 2008. The now 69 for America only like just came out a year ago. Okay, so you didn't miss it by that much. You know hey. what? Yeah, I'm ordering it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I That's always it. said that if they ever got to 69, I'd buy it. So I'm doing it. Man of his word. All right. <laughs> Adrago95, Hanzo Ball21, Yuki Akiba, Red TV23, LWK Lean, C A L I E L E N, Kalian, I think. Phoenix Crystal7, Ultra 9774, Jackie Jack Jack86. Meta Kerbo 1221, Chalka 52, Steven Imt, or is that LMT? Looks like an L. Maybe Imt or LMT. Steven LMT is what I see. Kurt Kiwi Nader 19. Thank you all for the new subs. I'm sorry this was the stream you joined us on our community on. Well Unless you're really into cows, then this is the best stream for you. Congratulations. Special shoutouts to Mr. Bry Guy at 98, Kurorisu Pachi at 92, Yuki Mizuno at 96, Dark Dream 7 at 84, Kairi Hawk at 86, Puppet Master at 101, Besieger X at 99, Dark Arrow Warrior for 102, Xeno Monocles for 83, Ryukage Chroma for 81, Afro Blade Master for 97, Kiki at 85, H Minnow at 96. The beat of silence so it could say cow was great. <laughs> I, just, I had to know for myself. I wasn't looking at the screen, so I had to know. Thanks for subbing, everybody, and thanks for attempting to win the cow lottery, it, as no one has currently won the cow lottery. Your you're eggs, trying. You're trying hard. There's no eggs in the carton because people weren't sure if I was doing eggs tonight, so I'm just going to see what's on my randomizer. 
Luxon was saying in the chat that I should have Now 69 as a background gag in the next Discardables episode, and that's not a bad idea. <laughs> okay, it seems like the cows are stopping, or are there more in the queue? They stopped until you said it seemed they stopped, and now another six have shown up. I just, wanna just take, we're taking the break. We're gonna take the break. Chat's gonna lie to us that it showed up. I'm not gonna believe them. And when we come back, we'll continue Paper Mario Sticker Star. See you guys in a bit. Okay. Kirby, you need to get up. You need to get up. Eight. Oh, Eight. You know you Eight. want to. Eight. 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 You Good know you job, Stanley. Eight. I'm almost betting. I'm almost betting the minute we run ads, it happens. I I feel like it has to, like, at this point. It's gonna be hilarious. It's going to just be, like, the second. There was the steak one. Tender showed up a surprising amount. That was a 5% chance. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten the 5%. The, the facing forward one shows up a lot, too. Oreo. I hate you, man. Bagel sleeping on the emergency button. Aw, oh, Bags. I was telling someone a story the other day about how, like, Kirby made you want to adopt Bagel and how your reaction to how Bagel's behavior was was just whoops. No, that's Reese. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, Reese, Reese, yeah Reese, Reese was the one that saw Kirby and wanted to get a cat. Yeah, I, yeah. I loved cats. Yeah, you, you were trying to convince her, and I remember that Kirby was, like, the thing that, like, I, I had given up, to be perfectly honest. I had given up. I'm like, there's no way. She's like, she's allergic. She's not going to want a cat. When I'm never having a cat again. Tender. And then she wanted a cat, and then we got Bagel. <laughs> is there a way to pause these alerts? I don't want to miss it when it I, happens. There is, but I'm just finding it funny that they're making sure we can't leave. <laughs> At this rate, I might just ask Tim to refill my drink for me. <laughs> just, just go. I'm gonna hit pause okay. now. Here, I've paused them now. Go get your drink. <laughs> Chat, don't tell him I'm gonna unpause it. Cause I wanna know, I wanna know. He's gone, so it's gonna happen. I wanna know. I'm expecting it to happen, a thousand percent. <laughs> There's so many, now I wanna go get a drink and I can't. I've, I've played myself here. Oh yeah, y'all are back, yeah, you know what? I'm positive, y'all are back up. There's like 20 cows in the queue right now. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> I'll be right back. There's gonna be so many cows when I come back.
So I, I heard him from the other room, and I didn't know he was beatboxing. I thought he was like farting in my chair. Oh, he said that was yesterday. John's not here. I can say he smells like uh, rotten maple syrup. Oh, and he couldn't do anything about it. I'm also physically in a different country, too. Welcome back. The chat tell you what I did? Uh, no, but no deviancy happened while you were away, I assure you of that. I highly don't believe you. Believe what you want to believe. So, I, um... Do you smell like expired maple syrup? What? <laughs> uh, you know... So the, the audience is... The audience is weird, you know, they just- they, they, Isn't that they just stay. sugar? Are you asking me if I smell like sugar? Honey, you smell like sugar. Oh my god. I went upstairs and reset. can we get a cow? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where do we leave- oh my god, you guys! <laughs> there are so many cows! Oh my god. We're, like, How there was many a, even is that? I'm trying to find it right now. Because like, before, before I went upstairs, there was a Ryu that was about to play. Oh my god, there's like 30 cows at least in front trying, of them. Trying to find yourself in all this bovine. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's, let's see where this continues. I would have laughed my ass off if it was the very first one. Would have absolutely <laughs> lost it. If it was just clogged up all this time, that'd be perfect. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm even gonna attempt to read donations tonight, because I think it's gonna be impossible, but I am gonna read this one from Kennedy, the Ryu that's about to happen. Kennedy JK, uh, Kennedy KJK 2016 says, Hey John, just wanted to say to you and this community, I had a fantastic birthday yesterday. Not only have you made me laugh so much and enjoy all the best moments, 
Oh, okay, sorry, that's that's just where it ends. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday, Kennedy. <laughs> no, it's the regular one, too. There was, oh my god, there was a yodel earlier tonight. Am I gonna be able to find that in all these cows? So Kennedy's got a 2016 in their username, so that was their sixth birthday, got it. <laughs> Happy sixth birthday. I'm sorry I swear so much. How far back? I don't even think I can find that yodel anymore. I think the cows have overwritten my entire list of alerts. Boca says, as someone who went through Sticker Star 100% in 2020 out of boredom, I absolutely see why Emil despises this game. Best of luck tonight with everyone's sanity. <laughs> Thank you, and you're welcome. That wasn't the yodel. That was just one that happened before the stream. I just really wanted to read out because it made me laugh. Pokener2499 says, good evening, runaways. This egg-sponsored yodel comes with a question. When the first bonus stream for Xenoblade Chronicles happens next Saturday, will you be doing the original Wii version or the remaster on Switch? I assume the remaster because it has more content. Yeah, I wanted to do the original Wii version because I like the way the models look more, but everyone has told me there's more quality of life improvements. Just do the Switch one. So we're doing the Switch one. Yeah, there's there's the big ones like being able to track where collectibles are instead of it just being random. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do the Switch one. Oh, you're right, I should have just figured out a way to do the 3DS one. I don't have a capture card that can play new 3DS games, though. Just regular 3DS. I do have the ability to capture new 3DS. I've just never actually had the need to use it. Oh, because there's, like, what, six games that use it? Well done. Some games are enhanced for it, like uh, a lot of later games. Like, even Pokemon Sun and Moon run a lot smoother on it. Because I know... What ones needed it? Xenoblade Chronicles, Fire Emblem Warriors... Uh, the SNES Online. I think Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Okay, Binding of Isaac, that would make sense too. Yeah, I know there's a couple more, but that's uh, Minecraft apparently. Minecraft. Yeah, there's, there's a, just a bunch. Mm. No, Co yeah. Codenate Steam runs on regular 3DS, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Runbow Pocket. I, I thought it was weird the SNES games needed the new 3DS, but whatever. I guess it was just barely hard enough for them to emulate. I don't know. <laughs> I, I Somehow it tells me. I think that's not the case, yeah. Um, Hyrule Warriors Legends is really funny on an original 3DS because the enemies are sprites. All right, I'm on just going to read this one because it's going to take forever for it to show up because of all the cows. From GFR091702, they yodel in the future and say, Hey, John, it's me, the guy who told you about Wildermyth. I just want to let you know that I came up with another stream idea for you. Next charity stream, if you reach a very high goal, you and Reesh should do game clearing of Dokoban Kingdom on story mode. God, no. <laughs> oh, that'd be a hundred streams and a half. <laughs> That's a pass. That is a pass. Maybe something with Dokupon Journey, but you're more likely to see Dokupon Journey on TRG than you would be for otherwise. <laughs> I remember the night when we were trying out Dokupon Journey to see what it was like, and it was really funny. Yeah, because we were playing just on download of the cart, and it didn't yeah. have any of the graphics for any of the shops. So then I just started playing on my own after, and then all the graphics showed up. I'm like, oh, we need multiple copies of the game to get all the graphics to show up, which is annoying, because that game is not cheap. Anymore. I think you have one and I have one. We would need at least one more. Yeah, I haven't seen one in a while, but I also haven't been looking for one in a while. I know a few owners of used game stores. I've asked them to keep an eye out for me, and they haven't called me yet. And this has been years. Emulate? We can't, because then we... Oh, wait, actually. They have networking working on DS emulators now, don't they? Mm. So here's the the reason we're saying we have we need the carts is because we need multiple DS feeds. But I forgot. I think at some point emulators figured out how to do net play with DS games, right? Or am I thinking of GBA? Because I know you can do with like Dolphin, you can do uh, like Four Swords properly now. Mm -hmm. With Melon DS, you like can. Well, then maybe the maybe there is a way to do it then still with emulation. Hey. 
Ow. It's not perfect yet, though. Hmm. So I mean, risky, risky for a hundred part, right part, part series, you know. Yeah, we're also only one cartridge away from being able to do it normally, so, like, maybe we'll just get lucky and find it. Yeah, but I think the game's gone up. How much is it now? Everything's gone up. I mean, yes, you're right. How about game companies just release their old shit literally ever? <laughs> Loose copy of Dokoban Journey is roughly $118 Canadian right now. I mean, that's like well $7 American, right? It's more like $85.90. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me do, yeah, 92 according to the conversion. Damn, the Canadian dollar's been bouncing back. <laughs> I don't know if it's really ours is bouncing back, per se. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, well, while the cow parade continues, uh, as I mentioned for, for my artists in the community, we aren't doing art block on stream, and if we do, it's at the very end. Uh, but I'll make sure that anything that wasn't tweeted out to Emil, he gets to see it. Because there are some very good pieces that you might have actually seen before the stream, like the, uh, the Kirsty, the... Kirsty Meal. Yeah, the Kirsty Meal, the Super Crowned, uh, Kirsty. Those two in particular are good ones to show off. Let me quickly skim through Twitter to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, yeah, no, Twitter's not loading, which means I definitely did. There's just so many cows. Pardon me wonders if I should just troll and in the middle of it, I should just queue up the actual alert and it just pops up in the middle saying so-and-so. <laughs> to give everyone hope and then dash it away. Cow. 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 Sorry that I have repeated this, but is the jackpot alert still a thing? Yes! You mean the jackpot, the regular jackpot, or the jackpot fail? The regular jackpot is just picking a number that's not one of the alerts. And the fail jackpot is 776. Well done. All right. St that's stealthy espion, right? Where is her? Where are they on this list? There's so many, dude. Oh... I'm trying to figure out where, how far back exactly we are on these. Uh, this Wario you're watching right now was sent in 11 minutes ago. <laughs> these alerts are only a few seconds each, too, which is especially scary. Yep. Well, I'm also going to read this Yoda while we're waiting, too, from Maximum Mighty X. Hey, Emil, I have a story for you. I got Dream Team and Sticker Star for my birthday. I started playing Sticker Star and got stuck at World 2 and dropped it for Dream Team. I then lost both games and proceeded to rebuy Sticker Star and not Dream Team. Oh, mighty. Oh, mighty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I always thought it was kind of funny how Dream Team was announced like three weeks after Sticker Star released. It's like they knew and they wanted to just smack that down with like, oh, hey, here's like a better game. <laughs> well done. Oops, I actually meant to change that alert. Uh, let me switch it to... Dream Team's not my favorite Mario and Luigi, but it's at least better than Sticker Star. Nice. Let's change it to this one. God, I was saying earlier about how that isn't a compliment, though, but I swear I mean it better than that. Actually, maybe not that one. <laughs> Where was the one I actually meant to use? There we go. There we go. Alright. Oh, Whoa. it hit me. All right, we're at the Inig Mansion. The Inig Mansion! I've been waiting for this. This place is actually really good. And you, it's just gonna be a so mentally associated with people for with the cow, because it's, so, it's just not stuff. We got like an atmospheric opening. We got like an atmospheric opening. It's all nice looking. It's I don't know. I'd go in there. I'd probably sleep here too. Yeah, don't sleep out in the snow. You'll regret that. Well, not, not, not in the snow, John. What do you take me for? 
I don't know. You were real excited when you were up here and it was snowing. You were like running around without a jacket, having a great time. Yeah, because I, I haven't forgotten I, that. I get it so rarely that. Ah, greetings, Master Mario. How very impressive that you were able to brave the cold all the way here. I am the steward of this estate. Cow. As I am sure you must be exhausted by the long journey, nothing would please me more than to invite you in to enjoy the comforts of the mansion. Sadly, I must admit that these ni such niceties are impossible at this time. Oh, right! Someone has committed a terrible act. A book was opened. A terrible book with terrifying things sealed with Oh my god, we're playing Super Paper Mario?! Many terrible things escaped. These things... They are so terrifying that I can't even bear to speak their terrible names. Suffice to say, uh, it was too terrifying to be in such close proximity to those terrors. So, I fled the mansion and set up residence in my current spot of shape. Finally, not a cow. If you doubt this terrifying tale, then I ask you to look upon this! A book! Book of Sealing. Mask Mario, uh, what you hold, what you now hold, is the very book of sealing I speak of, the one that was once the prison of those terrifying things. It heartens me to see that uh, it heartens me to see that book in the cap. It heartens me to see that book in the capable hands of a gallant figure Cow such as yourself. Ender. If you could once again seal all the terrifying things within that book Cow and return it to the basement. Then, and only then, I can resume my duties inside and pamper you with the royal treatment you deserve. Master Mario, please allow me to treat you to the finest hospitality known to Toad Kind. Seal up all those terrors. Um, okay, so let me get this straight. You want us to go inside this mansion of terror and seal up all the terrifying things inside this book? Huh. It seems strange that such an important seal could break so easily. Maybe it's the fault of a royal sticker. Cow tender. Well, maybe and maybe not. But either way, stamping out terror inside a Honda Magic seems like it could be kind of fun. I mean, right? Come on, Mario. Let's go inside and take a look around. Of course, if you're too terrified, you don't have to. Hee <laughs> hee hee. Mario shook his head no at her. That just says it all. <laughs> nope. Alright, let's go. I shake my head no at Kirsty a lot, too. Cow. Fucking Kirsty. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, I. Don't. It won't open! You think it's locked? <laughs> or Jesus. maybe. <laughs> Haunted door. Cow. Gotta become the master of unlocking. I mean, Jill ain't here. Jeez. Although I would love to play a game where you have Jill and Mario on the same team. Wow, the door won't open. Do you think it might be locked? I kind of like the photo of the purple toad there, it's cute. Cow. That's what, what I was thinking. Yoink! Cow. Picture of Dory and Gray. Cow. Cows have lost all meaning to me now. It's like... It's like the man who lives close to the ocean doesn't hear the waves. The man on Proton John stream doesn't hear cows. <laughs> Cow. Well done. Tell me, tell me, applied it differently if we did this. Nope. No, he doesn't want that. No, nope, never mind. It's probably just a similarly shaped thing that goes there. Yeah, I, I forgot it was like if we flipped it upside down or something like that. Yeah, so the music in the Enigma Mansion is pretty good. It's a little hard to hear over all the booing and uh, <laughs> let's players. I'm sorry. But... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, but I, I genuinely do really like it. I know that that cake is a thing.
You two didn't even bump into each other. <laughs> they used an outtake. Hey, were those ter the terrifying things just now? They look more fun than terrifying to me, but whatever. One thing's for sure, they can hide like nobody's business. Maybe they're just shy or something. One way or another, we gotta find them all and seal them up. Gosh. Oh my god, they caught up. The alerts are actually caught up. Holy shit. Oh, they... They are. Well, they were. They're probably gonna happen again now that I pointed it out, but... Oh boy. I can't believe that the 2% chance of not happening... It's been attempted well over 100 times. It definitely There's has no been way. attempted a lot. I'm actually surprised it has not come up. We've had some nights... We've had one night where it happened like three times. I don't know if that oven... I think the oven's a thing. And I know that the cake on the table is also a thing. The oven's also really helpful. I know, I know that it, like, is needed for the final boss fight, so we I need think, to grab I that. I think the oven is considered the best fire item? I think so, yeah. Alright, let's just steal the kitchen! <laughs> also, you can carry an unlimited number of 3D objects in your pockets, but you carry only a small number of 2D objects in your pockets. What kind of sense does that make? <laughs> Oh, it's a poo. Ooh, I don't remember how you fight these guys. Can I just jump on them normally? I don't remember if there was a gimmick. Yeah, no, there's no gimmick. Yeah. Never mind, no cool. gimmick. Just casually jumping on ghosts. Nice and easy. Get in the book. I thought the boo laughing was part of the thing where it was like, cow. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> and now I'm taking the fridge with me. Come on, don't take it to the fridge, take the fridge. <laughs> Where was the cake? All right, how do I get up to the cake? We were watching the Google Translated DK rap the other day, and oh instead God. of like take it to the fridge, it, instead of like take it to the fridge, it's like use the bag. <laughs> or no, it's, it's get out <laughs> of the bag, is what it said. <laughs> I think uh, for Diddy Kong's jetpack, it was like you, he can use the bag. <laughs> Alright, let's jump down from the second floor. Okay, that's how I get that item too, by the looks of it. Okay. There's so many good lines in that thing. Like, um, when it's describing Donkey Kong, like he's quicker, faster, and stronger too. It's like, it's like quick, strong, and God. <laughs> and God? <laughs> yeah, and God. <laughs> Uh, when they brought up Donkey Kong's coconut guns, it was like, he can kill weapons. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was, for some un- I don't know what this originally was, though, but one of the things it says about Donkey Kong is when he was awarded a mortgage, he was mistreated. <laughs> <laughs> Such is life. <laughs> this is the stuff I miss hanging out with you and Tim, it's just the weird oh, shit you. we would just watch on YouTube. Yeah, it was always really fun. You showed us all these, like, all-star parodies and all that stuff. And I think I showed you guys Table as well. Or was that Steven that showed us Table? Uh, I don't know. Steven, I think I Steven showed us I, I Said Nope. He showed us one of the all-star ones. Oh, really? I thought you were the one who showed me I, I Said Nope. I might be misremembering. He showed us one of something that was related. I, I really like just watching random stuff on YouTube and stuff. It's it's really good. Um, table. Table, 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 table. Oh, gosh. The... When they were saying that Tiny Kong could, like, climb up trees and stuff, they were just like, when you reach heaven, the trees die. If you choose to die, do not make any mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's good life advice. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I think there was another part where it was like, karaoke is strong and it's not fun. <laughs> I got the safe. I do- there's a, there's an overly verbose DK route that's coming up in the chat, I've seen that too, which is the- It's, uh, the posh breakdown of the gorilla who refers to himself as an ass is the title. And it- <sighs> I'm trying to, like, think of an example of- To give you an idea of, like, how overly verbose it is. It's hard to, like, quote from memory, though, but, uh... Uh, instead of a- for Diddy Kong when it's like, you know, he's back again in about time too, it's like, once again, this fine gentleman has come to reside within the confines of this place of business. However, it is the opinion of many, such as me, that he should have arrived a lot sooner. 
Jeez. <laughs> Here, Tim. Yeah, he's quoting it in the back. If you want to like hop on a mic, Tim, you absolutely can. Like that's fine, right? I'm not like going yeah, overstepping fine. about. It. Yeah. Uh, Don't mind me, you just casually stole really a wall. Your, phone your laptop or something. Yeah, people are cheering for you. Yeah, people are cheering for you. <laughs> He says he loves you too. I remember when it goes like D, K, Donkey Kong, it goes the fourth letter of the basic modern Latin alphabet that represents the voice of dental plosive, followed by the eleventh letter of the aforementioned alphabet that represents the voice of Vila plosive, the gorilla who refers to himself as an ass. <laughs> Jeez. It's great, I love it. You can tell that I like this area because I'm just going off topic and laughing and ha and being full of life and not really complaining about anything or even talking about the game that much. It's just good. He's free. <sighs> Let's fall in love with life and just be free. Let's go to the Inig Mansion. Does Chuck know about the song Major Modern General? I'm pretty sure he does. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar. Uh, it's it's one of those, like, warm-up songs, basically. I am the very model of a modern Major General. <laughs> you might have heard, like, part of it and just maybe not realize that's what it was. There, that's maybe, the one I hit. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I knew I'd hit one of them. Fun. They're, 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 they're good. <laughs> Beaver! It's a lyric in Hamilton. Oh, it existed well before Hamilton. <laughs> Speaking of musicals, such a small world moment is... Do you remember that old meme song that was The Internet is for Porn? It was like from some musical. Avenue Q. It's from Avenue Q. Yeah. Yeah. So that song was written by the people who did the music for Frozen, and I couldn't believe that when I found that out a few, like... I think it was like last year I learned that. That's kind of amazing. I yeah, have no idea, incredible. but I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was written by, uh, let's see, uh, Bobby Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez. I think they both wrote it. So yeah, it was the same duo that did Frozen. What do I got? What do I got? All right, now do I put the safe there, or is that still something else I need to find? I forget. Let's see. Whoop. <laughs> nope, won't let me. <laughs> A lot of scrap usage in this place. Yeah, I think that's actually the, the interesting thing about it. Like, it's just, it's basically an adventure game. Yeah, I, I kind of like it because you don't really have a limited inventory on scraps. So you can just kind of enjoy the Oops. mechanic and Shit. not have to worry about, oh, no, do I have enough inventory space to solve this puzzle? You can just kind of do. Didn't mean to leave. thought one of these was something it's I very could do. It's also atmospheric in here. I like it. <laughs> Infinite jump sticker owner's manual. If you keep oh, jumping God. perfectly, a tiny amount of damage... Each time, uh, but what? this extremely rare sticker delivers only uh, again as if your jumps were infinite. You can deliver damage again and again. If oh, I think I just I think I actually read it backwards. Well done. It's useful against weak enemies who appear in a stack. Well and powerful foes, so save it for a eight. special occasion. Eight. Eight. Can you scrap that? Eight. All oh, right, I have to go eight. into the scrap menu. I'm doing it wrong. Eight. Good job, eight. Standy. Eight. <laughs> that probably would've been a lot easier to read if we did that first. Kind of I mean, yeah, but it's funnier to do it that way. It is. 
Now, does this go back in the same spot, or do I actually, or is this actually where the safe goes? Oh, that's way bigger. Yeah, so it's gotta be the safe. So the bookshelf will go with the rest of the bookshelves after all. A golden ghost! Oh! I guess he died because life was too rich for his blood. I'm gonna guess his defense is probably higher? I don't remember. Original enemy do not steal. Uh... Or am I, I wonder if I actually did like an infinite jump or something that he would just spit out a bunch of money. Maybe. Oh no, know. he's just murdering him, spits out money. That's all it is. Not much though. <laughs> Steal the gold. Steal the gold, Mario. We got a shiny boo before we got a Rosa cow. I, I bet Mario in Thousand Year Door would have stolen that gold and been smart. <laughs> He would have bought all the one-ups. He would have bought gold bars to like convert his currency into inventory space. Well done. Infinite jump stickers are really good. Yep. They basically <laughs> just end mid bosses. Professional biographies, gold series, 554th edition, 30 years of safety in the snows. A lonely lift deep in the mountains. A professional lift operator who stoically looked after the safety of the skiers and tourists who rode said lift. On even the snowiest days, this heroic lift uh, uh What? Li lift oh, op. lift op operator, right. Lift op stood on the platform and watched guests disappear into the snowy sky, ensuring their safety. For 30 years, he loved that lift, and more than that, he loved safety. After retiring, he withdrew to the quiet life in a local mansion with his manservant. Now that this lift has lost this stalwart bul bulwark of safety, it lifts no more. Next up, selling stickers, pro style. I can't believe it, a location that has actual lore and backstory. This lift is a popular tourist attraction that offers a sweeping view of majestic White Valley, taking the incredible snowscape sprawling beneath your feet as you lounge comfortably in our luxury lifts. Warning, swinging or bouncing in the lift may startle the local wildlife. Can't believe it. A story. Tender. Surprise. It's all I ever wanted. <laughs> no wonder you like this area so much. I know. I'll save you, boo. Oh, never mind. It's talk. <laughs> never mind. I won't save you. You didn't even talk to them at all. That's how Mario talks. He just shakes in fear. Oh. I didn't burn the ghost enough. Hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer. And he's gone. Burp. Burp. Get in the book. Hi, Kirby. You're back once again. <laughs> you keep coming back, and you don't stop coming, and you don't stop coming. All right, come on, Kirby. All right, come on up in my lap. What's going to happen is I'm going to yell about stickers or something, and then you're going to get scared and run away. I just know, and I'm going to get your claws in me when you do. I don't got up the stairs. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I forgot to go down here. Oh, I guess you want to explore this whole floor first. Stapler! <laughs> well, it's mine now. It used the last of its energy to just scare you, and then it died and it became yours. It died as it lived. Stapling literally nothing. <laughs> That's kind of clever using that sticker for a black and white photo. Hot scoop! An outlandish tale of the otherworldly, the mystery of the ghost book! <laughs> Continue if you dare, gentle reader. A once famous ghost hunter defeated a horde of ghosts single-handedly, and he sealed them within a book. It's said that if the book is recklessly open, the spooky specters could be unleashed. Where in the world this ghost book could be is a mystery. A scary one! Ooh, reading! 
thorough spinner analysis. Three easy methods for winners. Timing your button presses to hit conspicuous items like POW blocks can be pretty effective. Matching icons is surprisingly easy when you avoid the urge to press the button haphazardly and instead press it with rhythmic timing. There are more coins than other icons in the spinner. In other words, your chances of matching icons are highest if you aim for the coins. I so actually some... didn't know that one. Yeah, good advice there. Sacred Sticker Fest Proclamations! The Sacred Sticker Fest celebrates the descent to Earth of the six divine sticker beings wherein they give audience to the entreaties of all. Proclaimed! Attendants shall pick up the sacred stickers that have fallen from the heavens in a polite and orderly manner. Proclaimed! When the six divine stickers beings arrive on their comet, attendants shall make their entreaties with approximately fervent donation, or devotion, rather. Hmm. Or fervent, sorry, fervent. Uh, that. that. Proclaimed! The comet is sacred. Attendants shall never allow their hands to touch it, as such vulgar and greedy appendages are not worthy. Take heed, for only by obeying these rules will the six divine sticker beings hear the entreaties of all and take them to heart. Oh, there's a hype train. No wonder this the cows are back. So we're getting, like, the basic explanation for what happened in that one cutscene of story four chapters into the game. <laughs> Fervent donation, so donate more cows. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to stop people if I say no anyways. Month, day, weather, snowy. The master has at last retrieved, uh, retired after many long years of service. It appears as though he's received a painting of himself at work as a memento of the occasion. It complements the living room nicely. He regards it for hours at a time while sipping his afternoon tea. I trust he is reflecting upon his years of service. How fine that must be to gaze back on those forgotten hours with all the wisdom of his age. Master, your 30 years of service were not in vain. Thank you for your eternal vigilance. This is so good. Like, this is so good. Why is the rest of the game not like this? <laughs> let's see, that doesn't go there. No. I and there's a door there that. on the wall, so let's let's ride the table. I am trying to remember where I jump at that. Whoop! Not really sure. Hang on. I think I'm supposed to stick something there actually instead. Ah, maybe we need that to get the door. Nope. I'm, I'm at the thing on the floor. Like maybe you have to stand on that to get it. There we go. The actual oh. thing we needed. I knew there was some gimmick, I just couldn't remember what it was. Hiding the lore to get past the sensors, I like that. That's what they did in Link's Awakening. Oh, that was not enough. Way too early! It still counted, actually. You can- it's pretty forgiving where you no, can No, no, I- I, st I took full damage, this just was only three. Kind of low on health. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, they're low on health. Never mind. I have 55 out of 70. What are you talking about? I was looking at their health for some reason. Pop. Ow. Oh, we have like a million of these. Thanks for putting back the furniture. Well done. Get in the book. <laughs> I also do kind of like the theming of them, like the booze being literal pages in a book because they're made of paper. That's actually clever. That definitely goes in the in the foyer. Yep, it's the same shape as the picture. Which we should be back to now. Cow. Let's go heal back up and save. How is this cow thing not resolved yet? <laughs> I want to know! How many times has this been attempted? I, I genuinely want to know how many times in I don't a row think it'll tell me, sadly, but yeah, it's it's been a lot tonight. 
How many times has this 2% chance been failed? Mm, 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 mm. This is a present from me to you. Someone Look says it's been map. at least 200 attempts. What? <laughs> so we're like four times well, under friends. odds. I look forward to meeting you people again. I uh, I opened a booster box of cards at uh at PAX and uh, I got like double odds where I got I think I got like oh gosh like six ultra rares and then two secret rares from it so maybe this is just making up for that because I was over odds by double on that mm -hmm. or I was under odds by double. Go check if it's not disabled. It is 100% not disabled. It has just failed the, the roll that many times. Okay, fine. I'll give you my luck. I give this cow my luck. You got Beefaroo. I got Beefaroo! Ah, it changed! Cow. <laughs> Uh, it's actually, actually, wait, we're not in a Discord server. What? Crap, that, that actually might complicate Tim joining. I mean, we can just hop in. We can just add him to a call. Just use the TRG lobby. Sure, I'll do that. I can add him. Cow. Uh, uh, I guess I'll hang up and call back. Okay. I don't, I don't know if that's how it works. Okay, uh, hang on. Quick chat, he's gone. Now's your chance to get all the cows. Two ladies back. Okay, hey. you have 100% of us. Ah! Uh, Take it downstairs so you don't hear me echo. Ow. Ow. Alright, let me bounce out Tim's audio a bit. He's using a different mic. Yup. Ow. There we go. How's it going? How's it going, buddy? Excellent. How about yourself? Just listening to cows. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Ugh. So many cows. Every time it says cow, I think it's. I don't think I'm listening to Help by the Beatles. It sounds like when they say Help. I don't know. Help. Weird. I need somebody. I can. Yeah, I can sort of hear it. Here, Tim, uh, Tim, do you have the Cocom feed? If not, Emil can link it to you. So at least you're getting the game audio. Um. Is Tim talking? Because I don't hear him. He is talking, you don't yes. Hear me. You have I... him muted on your side because of our recording setup. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Uh, Put my me... headphones in here. Hey, look where we are. We're back in town. The boys are back in town. Surprise. Woo! Oh, yeah, I guess we are, kind of. There we go. That's better. Wait a minute. Yeah, now we know where that wall leads. There's like a door back here this whole time. And it somehow leads Dang. across the ocean. That's also kind of clever, like that it would come out there and now you know where that door goes to. After Excuse all me, this time. sorry about that. Dude, yesterday Tim was streaming and he had the door closed and I walked in after like four <laughs> hours of him streaming and the room just smelled like his farts because he was in here farting the whole time. <laughs> it was that Mexican food you ordered. It was, that burrito was so good. Uh, you, oh yeah, you were it was. getting sweaty yesterday. Anyways, wasn't yesterday your Mario Kart practice, Tim? Mm-hmm. Getting yeah. that sweaty Mario Kart practice in. Oh yeah. I'm about to play some more. My leg is falling asleep. I need to I can't believe how good it looks on this TV down here. Oh yeah. I uh, I bought a new TV like on my birthday, so it's it's really good. It has a. Uh, it's wow. I've it's, never seen anything like this. Uh, yeah, it, it's like legit HDR. Like it's like I think HDR this minimum is like a thousand, and that TV is like thirty six hundred. A thousand. And it sparkles like new. Sorry, I can't see the chat, but uh, yeah. I'll pretend like I can. Well, if it you use a, a, a Cocom feed, you'll have the uh, the chat on screen. Yeah, I sent it to you. It's oh, in the, I suppose it's I could. The, yeah, it's in the it's in the uh, the TRG thing. Yeah. Okay. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Get out of here. Oh, I see it. More hop slippers. A hop slip and a jump. How are we only getting hype train now? Because they're actually on a cooldown, so they don't happen all the time. Oh my god, that's so cool. 
Blue door, red door, redder door. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ooh, it's all sparkly. Beep. Beep. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot I'm right thing. Oh, let me go. Oh, wow. Waluigi and Rosalina both just sat there at the starting line. What are the odds of those two characters? They knew. They knew I was here. Somehow. Mm -hmm. My true power has been revealed, and it's controlling your Mario Kart game somehow. Oh, this is the same room from the start that all the toads were in. But now it's booze! I caught you reusing assets. I think the infinite jump is meant for this. The infinite jump is meant for this, but I also don't want to waste the infinite jump. And but I have also a ton of hop slippers. I guess you could always like battle spin and just do a bunch of hop slippers on the same turn if you wanted. Uh, that's true. I could use. Mm -hmm. You know what? Actually, I wasn't gonna use the battle spin, but sure, since you brought it up. Mushroom. Nope. Got the coin. Mush. Ah, uh, that's the in the odds. Every time John says boo, I keep thinking he's gonna say boob. I, I'm oh. sorry I've set your expectations so yeah, high or low. You too? What? <laughs> yes. I just told sorry, John. I don't uh... talk about my titties that much, guys. I'm flattered you both think <laughs> so, though. That's better than being <laughs> flat. flat. Ah! God, you two have been living together too long. Time. We said oh. it at the same time. Ah! Well, jeez. That's all you want. Oh, take the shortcut, please. Yes. Oh. How much is this gonna hurt for? I don't think I've ever seen this thing attack. Two! I blocked in time. I mean, should I just bother with the with the infinite jump at this point? It's your call. It's not really hurting you all that much, but like it is clearly designed for that. Oh, God. <laughs> John, talk about your boobs more, it might attract Rosa Cow. I mean, that's probably how it's gonna work. Now that we've mentioned Rosa and and boobs, it'll probably mean the next cow is gonna be her. Now we need, just need Chaz to make an alert for it on the spot, right here in the middle of the stream. <laughs> if only. Oh yeah, they hike the price on you every time you do it. It's now it's 30 coins Ooh. instead of 15 to rig it. Oh, no, Wrong no, 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 yellow. No, not now, not now. Ooh, okay, good. John, why did you read that? Because I'm just using infinite uh, hop slippers here. I ain't got much going on right now. Two? I can't figure out just two. Or Humble Wumba. I just watched those videos of Humble Wumba in Banjo. <laughs> good old Humble Wumba. Good stuff. Yes. Oh, good timing, you guys are doing Banjo Tooie while we're doing Kazooie. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, people have been asking for Reese and I to play through that for ages, and we're just like, yeah, sure, why not, finally. We'll do it. No. Coin? Nope. <laughs> Nothing! Don't eat the mushroom. I got one coin. <laughs> I gotta stop seeing you. This is what? a present from me to you. Look at your left. I really should just cave and use the damn thing. Well, friends. I look forward to meeting you people again. I do like how when it hits the hand, like when they're rolling, how it actually hops. That's clever. Uh, You're losing a hatch. Uh, damn it. Ah. Uh, At this point of view, so many hop slippers is not even worth it. It's true. Yeah, screw it. Okay. I guess at least now you have more inventory. This is basically 100 power bounces in the form of an item, to kind of clarify exactly what this does, and like what the limits are on it. Basically, you can end boss fights with it. <laughs> Oops. It's also not fun doing this 100 times just to like do 100 damage on a boss. Yeah, but I remember using a ton of these on the final fight. Yeah, no, I think generally you want to use two of these on the final fight at a specific point. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Brilliant gameplay! So how's your day going? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I had a rough start, though, but it's turning around. I recorded an episode and a half of Splatoon 2 today, so... Nice. 
trying to get back in the groove and get back to uploading and all that. Um, I have some traveling I gotta do in May, so I really want to get videos out soon so I can post a fair amount during May. Hooray! Ah, oh, it's paper, it's horrible. <laughs> Use a boom box and then in the infinite jump next time? Why, when I could have just used the infinite jump? It does one damage and there was 82 of them. Using the, I should have used the infinite jump from the start, but I wanted to see if I could do it without, and then I forgot, like, oh yeah, this takes forever. Yeah, boss fights in this game are horrible if you don't just use the one sticker they're weak to. Yeah, no, Phantom, I'm, I'm aware. I have 100% of this game. There are, there are like only like maybe six infinite jumps in the entire game or something like that. One is meant for the museum, and one they wanted you to use on this fight. Oh, hey! Don't you dare hey! 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 Oh, shoot. Woo. Shock. Told you it wasn't worth the wait. Yuki Mizuno finally gets it and says, Cosmos Luck! Well, yeah, last yeah. try. Cosmos. Last try, Cosmos luck. They tweeted at me the no, other day about getting Cosmos early in the game, so their luck is just really high right now. They're they're, they're also a Throne Controllers champion. I want to bring that up, so that's also another good lucky mm -hmm. story. And to be fair, if we're talking about a character that has Cosmos' build, that's that's Rosa John, so there you go. Yeah. It worked. Congratulations, Yuki, on winning the, the cow lottery. <laughs> Da <laughs> I was here, Pog. We're free from the moose. <laughs> the cows can finally go out to pasture. So we're like, that was what, like four and a half times over odds or something? Oh, Nard, you meant for bosses? Oh, never mind. That makes that makes way more sense. I thought you meant for that boo fight just then, because you said next time. Misunderstood, sorry. If it happened two times in a row, that would be hilarious. That would have been hilarious, like but there's no way. It was clogged up. That took so long to happen, I'm legit surprised. So what's your rarest alert? I want to see that one. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I mean, that would have been my, my assumption for rarest alert. Next rarest might be... Um, ironically, there's a shiny Wario. Mm -hmm. But the odds are not high enough for me to recommend it for chat. I, I assume 4,096. <laughs> no, but it might be close. <laughs> ah, no. Okay, oh, I, I have one health. Never mind. Ugh. <sighs> Do you oh, have God, a favorite alert, or are they all your favorite? I love them all, but the all your base one is special in my heart. <laughs> I miss the old Rosa one, but it honestly it was the right time to change it. Especially considering now, I think it might might be banned officially. So we picked a good time to replace okay. it this year. Jeez. Oh yeah, there's two. They're, they're, you're right. There's two variants variants of the shiny Wario alert. One where you catch them, and one where you don't. <laughs> well. Ow. I've known people that have had shinies run away from them in the safari zone, so. Ugh. What happened with Twitch TOS? They've changed some things about it, and um, yeah, that one might have gotten us in more hot water now, but I mean, we changed it at the beginning of the year anyways, because I felt it was time to change it, so. So did that just do nothing? That's weird. I thought it did something. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Maybe. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Oh no! Oh, I found so many the battery. It is might too run terrifying. Out no. I'm trying to remember, is that just showing is that the toad is the one that freed them, or in that he's like a big boo, or what? I don't remember. I think you need to just look away for a little bit, like standing next to it, and then turn around and hit it when it's still a boo. Like. Oh, you're right. You're right. Fight the portrait. Pump that snake! That's Pump that snake! Scary looking. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I mean, it also is a Dorian Gray reference, so... More or less. Here we go. The year was 2021. There it is. Oh boy. I'm sorry to hear that. Someone is what you say? You have no chance to survive with your time. Hot, hot, hot. Uh, hot, hot. So the thing that bothered me and only me was in that old video it said they verbally say ha ha ha, but on the text there's four ha's. I mean, that's just part of the, the bad <laughs> translation. Well, no, I just mean, uh, the, the voiceover was, like, later. Like, that was a fan-made thing. It's no, like, that's what I mean. The, the VAD, the, the voiceover thing was done to play off that. Uh, I guess oh, so. Hey, and we found Disco. Sure. Air, Airbender yeah, Disco's raids... dead! <laughs> Airbender raids all your bases and says, Celebration time due to the cowpocalypse being now over. Thanks, Airbender. Congratulations. Come on. Let's celebrate. All right, 90 damage to get rid of all these boos, huh? Oh my god. Have anything that can get rid of ah. all of them in one go? I don't think so. Does this hit everyone? You boombox if you're worried about the damage, but I don't know who you are. I could use the, the heater, the radiator. Might as well try it. I guess. It's... The radiator's good because it's small and, like, does good fire damage. Toasty nice, ghosts! Ooh, it's steamy in here on the dance And it works. Floor. Oh, wow! Disco is on fire, baby! <laughs> they just incinerated him. Get in the book. Oh. Get back here, Disco Ball. I want you to. I don't think I can actually get the Disco Ball. I forget. I don't remember that being a thing. You're thinking Color Splash. No, I'm not. I've never played the game. <laughs> <laughs> you have a really bad history of, like, playing the bad games but not playing the better ones. <laughs> I've played most of the Paper Mario games in full. The only ones I haven't played in full were Color Splash and Thousand Year Door. And I've at least played Color... Or, sorry, oh. Thousand Year Door. Uh, it just, when I got it, I just, it was at a bad time, so it was not on the priority list. Mm. I think I actually played through Bait and Kaitos instead, and honestly, I preferred that. It was a great mm. game. I did actually play that, because that was, like, one of Monolith's earlier games. See, that's, <laughs> Bait and Kaitos is the reason I kind of guessed a, a couple things that were going to happen in Xenoblade, because it's like, mm. well... They like to do this twist. Are they gonna do it here? Oh, they did. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll guess all I, I know, know that story beat now. All I know about Botan Kaidos is like the English voice acting being horrible, where there's oh. that guy who goes, "It's unthinkable to act against the Empire." That the, some of the voices are pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah. I read some of them are good. Like some of them do genuinely try and are pretty good though, but others are not good. You didn't try to 100% Bait and Kaidos, did you? Oh, no, I did not finish the card collection. Absolutely not. Because one of the cards requires... Is it 30 days? I forget. Or is it two weeks? I, how long is it to, to get the uh, the spoiled card or whatever it is? This or the seed that has to grow, I forget. Just three shots from gun. It's one of the longest speedruns out there. The speedrun world record is 341 hours. Oh, shoot. Paper, rabble, fit? stick. Yeah, you know what, Emil? This one seems like you should read this. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> paper, rabble, sticker, rabble, dear sticker, sticker, sticker on, stick, paper, daper, duper, sticky, 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 paper, whiskey, paper, doodle, sticker, paper, rock! Hmm. What? Ooh, this book is written in ancient stickerish. Oh, God, terrible. <laughs> 
Oh dear. I can try and read a little, I guess. <laughs> of course, I yeah. just took the ancient stick in high school. See, I'm why am I laughing at this? I'm disappointed because this seems like the perfect setup for a Shining reference, where it's just the dude going insane. You know, all work and no play makes someone made of paper. But instead, no, it's ancient stickerish. You think when you should be able to see a doctor? are found in the five lights illuminate the wall. Only then shall the truth be revealed. <laughs> Light sticker doobie sticky sticky. Yes, hmm, I suppose it's something to do with the royal stickers. Uh, but what? as for the specific meaning, uh, sorry, I'm just not getting it. I may have sort of flunked my ancient stickers. Oh, very helpful. Thanks, thanks, Kirsty. Are you good at anything, Kirsty? Because I don't think complaining. It's real good at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why am I why did I find that so funny because it just seems like nonsense it literally just seems like nonsense it's like oh yeah this is an ancient rare language and not someone I, going insane yeah I actually did think it was someone going insane and just like the scribblings of like somebody who was dying or something and <laughs> it's definitely like it's definitely that shining bit yeah, like that's what I thought. <laughs> like sticker, sticky, sticky, double sticker. <laughs> no TV and no beer make Homer something, something. This is a present. Go me. crazy, don't mind if I do. Donuts. What? All stickers and no story well, make a friends, meal go crazy. To <laughs> <to the end. laughs> oh, I thought I had another mushroom. <sighs> Uh, I don't think any of these open up. For some reason, I thought one of them did. <laughs> red shrooms! Red shrooms! Nice! Oh, Perfect. that's good. That, that one's from chat. That's Burning Arm. Nothing. <laughs> I think this room okay. is just a room. Go crazy. Well, it's, well, this is where we do the final boss fight for this area. Mm -hmm. Because we have to put the book on the pedestal. Hey, this is the spot where the Book of Sealing rests. Ah, dang nope, it. Nope, no I good. Well, that stinks. I think I know where the ones I missed are. Hang on. It's gonna hey, take, is... a, take a bit to get back oh. there, though. Yeah. I, I've spoken a lot of positivity, though, but just kind of going around this mansion, being able to explore, finding the booze, and figuring out all these different puzzles, and, you know, you get an item from one room and stick it in another, like, in an adventure game. It's... It's nice. I really like this area, and it doesn't fall prey to the problems with the inventory system like so many other things do, because it's not like, oh, you gotta get the right thing from, like, 14 levels ago to, like, you know, <laughs> stick in this one specific spot that is not well telegraphed at all. Like, no, this is good. Like, this is good puzzle design. It's clever. You gotta explore all the rooms and make sure you've, like, really looked over everything, and the solutions to the puzzles are at least in the same mansion. It's nice. So there's here's like the... actual, there's actual lore. Yeah, go ahead, sir. So here's the thing I'm trying to remember. I think the last boo is tied to somewhere around here, but I don't remember how to get them. Actually, no, I think that's, no, I think I might be wrong on that. Cause that, that's showing that you can go outside and then that's when you break down this window. Mm -hmm. We've already got the one out here. Yeah, it's just this whole area is very contained. Somebody used the word contained in chat, and it made, it made me think of it. Like, the fact that it's not, you know, the thing that you need could be in any level, and, oh, we're not telling you where it is, and all that. And I, I think that this is the concept of this game done right. The only thing I can think of we haven't checked is I think the steward might have one with him around him, because we haven't checked outside. Yeah, this is different. Building's haunted. <laughs> Poor guy. There's one of them. <laughs> Gosh, I'm actually laughing at the jokes here. It's so good. This is bad, y'all. 
Maybe I'm just going insane from like being stuck in the mansion like all night and like the booze are getting to me and I'm the one going all sticker sticky doobity stick doobble. <laughs> but... Get in the book. Oh my god, this is actually good. Like, when there's actually character to it and they actually fucking try, it's really good. All right, so someone said there's two they can think of I'm missing. Am I still missing one in that case? What about the cake, someone said. I already have the cake. That's a that's an item. Okay. I you told are, you at the you beginning of the stream, one. I'm going to be pretty positive this one. John's always had cake. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Do I still have a hallway? Oh, you're right. I haven't used the hallway piece yet. So, yeah, I am missing a place. I completely forgot about the hallway piece. Yeah, it's kind of a big one, too. Uh, but where's the hallway we haven't affected yet? <laughs> I'll be right back. I need to turn the heater on. Go for it. I'm trying to remember. So there's a garden area we couldn't get to. No. Oh, bye. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. What do What do we got? All right. So the last thing we haven't done is in here. Crap. Because there's this spot here we haven't gotten into the greenhouse yet. Mm -hmm. Can't do anything here. No, right but now. I think there is the wall over here that. Weirdly enough, I thought this was where we took the wall piece we currently have. Mm -hmm. Just make sure I don't have any other ones. No, it's let. No, yeah. It won't let me put it down there. So I am so missing something still. Maybe up on the second floor? It's gotta like be something I missed on the second floor. Shit. That. I wonder if using a door sticker in battle does. I don't know the answer to that. I believe it's a free exit. Oh, it runs away instantly. That's cool. Damn, not enough. Let, let the hate flow within you, Emil. Don't, don't, don't just say everything's cool just because the Enigma is cool. It's time the Enigma to know How the dare I enjoy something? I... We haven't been able to do it. This was an idea I had for Coliseum 3, and we still haven't been able to do it. I wanted to do a bumper where I was, like, I was the Emperor from Star Wars, and I was trying to convince <laughs> John to, like, let the hate of Sticker Star flow within him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tried so hard. <laughs> there we go. Hey! Thought it was something weird like this. So now we can put down the correct piece. I don't believe this. So the controller's not right next to it, and that should. Which be means good. we can get the infinite jump now. Which mm. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I'm just liking what I see. <laughs> Boom, here we go. You could work it into my storyline somehow. Um, yeah, with Tim Skywalker. You failed, your highness. I'm yeah. a runaway guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, becoming a Let's Player. <laughs> you imagine like so horrifying? Oh my god. He's always a streamer. Putting elevator music into your Metroid Dread videos. I always like calling him Qui-Gon Tim. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's called Qui-Gon Jim. Because he's always drinking gin. He always sounds so dreamy the way he says it, just because he's always drinking. 
<laughs> what is a tower? The universe? <laughs> you oh know, if my. you rearrange letters in Sith, you get another four-letter <laughs> word that explains the quality of the movie. <laughs> Tishchi. Which is Chinese for disappointment in the cooking of the duck meat. <laughs> the, the book's wow. pages are all full! Do you think that means we sealed away all the booze? Do you think? No, no I don't. Sure. I'm gonna hit the cart. We quote those red oh letter my God, video reviews it. at each other so oh my God, much yeah. all day. On the way to the gym, on the way home from the gym. <laughs> He was watching them at the gym for a while, so I, they were always like on oh, yeah, our when we were coming back. <laughs> they were making me laugh too. <laughs> Hard to like focus with them like going on too. Whee. Oh, we are doing right here. All right, let's up. heal, let's save, and then let's go fight the boss of this area. No, I'm just kidding. The word is crap. No, I'm just. No, I'm just kidding. The word is shit. No, I'm just kidding. The word is fuck. Are you gonna cheese the boss of the stage with Infinite Jump, or are you gonna do uh, do it the intended way? I'll do the intended way. Oh. But I just gotta remember what it is. Although I think that's why I brought the vacuum, if memory serves. Pretty sure. Well, I guess sucks. that means that this area has one slip up. It is an area in Sticker Star after all. But... <laughs> well, we all can't be perfect. Mm -hmm. Or That's if you're Sticker Star, uh... you can't do anything competent. <laughs> no, it's a card again, but thanks for Oh noticing. no, it's one of only two named characters in this game. I, huh? I guessed wrong when guessing which one it was going to be. You, Kamek, why are you here? Oh, I get it. I bet breaking the seal in the book was all you're doing. <laughs> ah, Miss Kirsty, just Ugh. as sharp as ever. <laughs> I heard there was an old book about stickers somewhere in this mansion, so I searched high and low. In time, I found this delightful tome, and it cracked it open, and lo and behold, all of those booze came flying out. <laughs> Then you two showed up and embarked on your nice game of hide-and-seek. I simply had to stay and watch. I must admit it was truly wonderful watching oh, watching you two desperately search all over the place. <laughs> what is your problem? Ugh, you're just plain nasty, you know that? <sighs> What's wrong with your face? <laughs> Why, thank you, my dear. What a lovely compliment. Even so, a book with a hundred booze sealed within must hold some extreme power, wouldn't you think? No, I think it's just a book of a hundred booze at that point. Yes, yes, yes. And since you two went through all that trouble to complete yes. such an important piece of literature... Let's turn things up another notch, shall we? It's time for Volume 2! <laughs> I want to get to Volume 69! Oh. Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a lovely time playing with that massive boo thing, won't you? Excuse me, it is big boo, not massive boo. No, this is crazy. Well, then, I must be going. Sorry, calling it big boo would be too creative and non-IP protecting for the massive time. boo is here. <laughs> Oh crap, this is mirror mode. Mm. Oh, the that happens. Damn it! Run up, 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 down. Okay, I think I can hit him now, and then when the lights go on, I have to use the vacuum? It's something like that. I guess, like, it's stunning, like in Luigi's Mansion. I was gonna say, this chapter, the look of it reminds me of that Luigi's Mansion. Mm -hmm. You're doing a lot of damage with this. You're not needing a thing sticker right away. Shoot. Don't ah, know when I was supposed to block any of that. <laughs> yeah, because the lights go on and then he disappears. So this is when you use something to put them out, such as the vacuum. 
Ow, double ow. Here comes the vacuum! Whew. <laughs> what? Okay, sure. Nice, great, excellent. Oh! <laughs> well, bye, game's over. 35. Again, too early in the block. Oh, man. Yeah, I think you can use anything that would put out fire. Like, I think you can use the soda can as well, but it only does, like, 15 damage instead of the 35 or whatever the the vacuum did. You know a scary amount about the bosses in this game. I read up on it before we went live. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, it's the e-camera. Oops. <laughs> well, third time's a charm to dodge this. Nope. Nope. Thought this was a one and done. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's make up for earlier. Still hit it with the stick, though. Bump. Oh, okay. Positive vibes, baby. Imagine needing to read up on a boss ahead of time to be to be able to beat it. Well, here's the thing. I was just like, man, I don't remember anything. I have. I was just looking up where I was using the radiator because I remember that. And I'm like, oh yeah, this part. I remember like this part. It's, and the guy I was looking at was like, yeah, we recommend you bring the vacuum. I'm like, okay, well, sure. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice emote, mystery man. <laughs> it's Final Fantasy. I don't know which That's character. Mario, you did it, didn't you? The inside of the mansion is no longer terrifying whatsoever. That book is, is sealed up and all is back to normal. Thank you ever so. And now, as promised, allow me to show you the very finest in hospitality. Please, let's adjourn to the room to the left of the lobby. Ugh. You don't want to sell me death sticks. Hey, Camden said he came here looking for a book about stickers, right? Could it have been that book? Nah, I don't think even Kamek can read ancient stickerish. <laughs> Still, yeah, I'm a wonder that maybe he read something in there that could cause us trouble. Nah, no way. He just opened that book of ceiling by mistake and basically nothing came of it, so, uh... Yeah, so that's that. All sewn up. That toad's waiting, so let's go to the room to the left of the lobby. Yeah. I'll find a dandy. Oh, Kirsty. Always here to state the obvious. Yeah, although I think her stating the obvious gets us in trouble, doesn't it? Because I think she... I think Kamek hears it, or am I thinking of a different thing? I, I feel like that's too smart for this game's writing. I, I'm probably thinking of something oh. different, yeah. You're, you're probably thinking about, like, Kami Koopa spying on you in the first game or something. You're right, it was too quiet. Five. <laughs> five, 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 five. A little too wrath. <laughs> I mean, I thought Leo was the boring one. Hey, where do you put the quarter? Come. Oh, God, we got to that episode today. The, hey, Mr. Krabs put in a kitty ride. I can't oh. find the quarter. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, so God, and it cuts good. away. Oh, my God. It cuts away when he goes doink. It's so <laughs> good. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you, you got this one or me? Ah, uh, yes, that picture. I, I was doing this guy, and you were doing Kirsty, but... Okay. That was painted by the mansion's previous proprietor. In other words, Ooh. the steward who came before me. I inherited the charge of the mansion when he passed away. If it interests you, I am happy to make you a gift of that painting. After all, I am the steward now and can dispense the estate as I see fit. Please, do not hesitate to take it. She is our, such as legendary hospitality. She is our legendary hospitality. I was reading like mystery is also a she because of the SpongeBob thing and it just messed <laughs> my mind. <laughs> nice, yeah. She is all hospitality. You know, her coin slot. Ah, uh, to be quite honest, I feel much better without that painting. I'd like to put up a picture of something that makes it more my mansion. Perhaps even a picture of me. I, I think, can you come back later and that's exactly what he's done? I think maybe, yeah, that sounds right. The sticker comment piece, I was like, Mr. Mario, please, don't <laughs> have a seat. 
Patrick's building your house. <laughs> He's just sitting there with a board <laughs> nailed to his head. What do you think of our magnificent living room? Makes you feel rather instantly at home, does it not? It pleases me to no end to be able to provide the hospitality that befits this glorious place. But I'm not going to let you have access to the couch. You have the tiny chair over there. Oh, hell no. Well, no, you don't own this place. And finally, uh, I look like a proper steward again. Perhaps it is time I advertised for a manservant of my own. Oh, No, I'm gonna stand uncomfortably uh, close to you. I'm gonna stand and jump on your couch. You always hammer him. It's true. What do you think of your of, oh, you same know. same thing? So the reason they want you to sit here is because you're supposed to notice that the stars in the background. Yes. <laughs> Being able to hammer the NPCs is a legitimate improvement over the previous three games. I'll give it that. Yeah. Didn't someone say earlier there's a heart piece somewhere in here? I don't know. I, it sounds right. Regardless, it would be pretty easy to come back in because there's after no more four five. Oh, all right. Because <laughs> nothing Money. can be straightforward. Money. I, th I mean, there's a reason for that. Be sure to take a break if you're feeling tired. Will do. It's pretty long, but it was good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do this now while it's fresh in my mind. But we are supposed to do 4 yeah, four first. We do need the steward painting to be able to do this. Oh, but look at that bank shot on that guy. Well, thank goodness it missed. Uh, hmm... Damn it, I'm never gonna get that timing right for the excellence on those. Mm. You know what, Sticker Star? I was gonna rip you a fifth asshole, but I'm gonna settle for four and a half. Wow. How nice I don't think it you. counts as a whole asshole ripping if I, if I was nice to it for like a whole stage. An ass a whole <laughs> half of an asshole is still an asshole. You can't say it's only half. You're the one who said it was only half. <laughs> <laughs> Even Ryu agrees. That's why he's here and he's about to get shot. Well, get out of here. <laughs> I think Tim just dropped. Or is that me? No, you're still no, here. Tim did drop, you're right. Alright. I hope he realized he dropped and he's not just like talking to an empty room. I think he'll realize it when, when it's quiet. Rexor88 kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, It's at least a week early and I know people want Mithra for two big reasons. Womp womp. But consider this, Zeke Von Genbu, bringer of chaos, mostly oh, known yeah, as Zeke. personality in her backstory. Mostly known as Zeke and often addressed as the Zekenator. Who better a cosplay for the man who embraces slash embodies chaos? <laughs> so, for those who don't know, um, we have, I have to rather, play through Xenoblade Chronicles 1. And if I yes. have not finished the game by Coliseum next year, I have to do a punishment cosplay. And I was leaving it open to, like, I was going to pick a male character, a female character, and a mascot character, and then we were going to figure out which one of the three to do from that. And as unsurprisingly, majority have asked for Mithra, for the female character, but uh, male character I saw Dunban more often than not, so. Dude, you'd be a hot Dunban. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, but uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Do I, I really don't have any multi-attacks. Well, I have that one, but I don't want to use the flashy line jump. We've been kind of using them a lot lately because of all the booze. One HP each, lovely. Yep. It's because I can never get that timing right for some reason. 
I can see you pulling off a Dunban. John has a length in main for Dunban, that's for sure. I would use a wig since I would need the actual black hair for Dunban. Mm. I guess your hair is not really like straight like his is. Also like, that, I have curly hair. Yeah. So you couldn't just dye it. <laughs> it's either Dunban or Metal Face. I don't think I could pull off a Metal Face cosplay. Oh, uh, Metal Face is so good though. I would have voted for Turters. I mean, that's also an option, I guess. More of the good music. The same song as 4-1, uh, but still good. All right, let's go pop in here. What did we get in here? A flashlight. I bet Reese is laughing. Why? Uh, never mind. Final Fantasy? No. <laughs> or the other light sounding object. As, yeah. I, this I, chat I, is being less subtle about it. <laughs> Ta da! I like how he's actually sepia. That, uh, that's Set, that's yeah. another clever use of the paper thing. Mm, yes, welcome to White Valley Lift. You desire a lift? You brought him back to life, also that you could make him work at his stand. Lift for two, straight away. Safety check, check. Lift off. I find it funny that the lift doesn't work unless a ghost is running it. <laughs> well, he when he retired, he just simply like didn't want to didn't want to leave the business to anybody or couldn't, so he just let the business die with him. May so, the trip lift uh, your spirits. They, they foreshadowed this earlier. You can actually like swing and oh, there you go. Salute. He's totally dead. Yeah, you can swing and jump on this thing. They mentioned that earlier. Can you actually swing on like a real life lift like this? I've never tried. I would assume so. Oh, you can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I figured the answer. Uh -oh, uh -oh. You probably shouldn't. Uh -oh. oh, that is so mean. Fighting on the actual line is pretty funny, though. All right, where are my where are my steel toes? Doesn't make sense how you're flat that you should be able to stand up here too. Bump. God damn it, he got me again! Oh no! Yeah, the freaking ice bros are the worst. Are we sure he did a safety check? Yeah, I'm not so sure anymore. Oh, I can never remember how you get those. Maybe that's how, maybe that's how he died. He's just really bad at safety checks. It was actually the dot has to get them. Okay. No. Get out of here. No, I'm gonna be stuck. Yeah. Oh. Because <laughs> it's it's swinging. You can't go against it. It's swinging. I forget. Can I regular jump on fuzzies or does it have to be iron? Uh, they're not spiky. If that's what you're wondering. I was wondering that. Thank you. I just wasn't sure about it from the wording. Maybe also, like, when he was alive, safety standards are, like, way lower than they are now, so, like, based on, I like, mean, that's right entirely now, possible. That's probably the case. You know, like, as more people die, safety standards go up. Now, shit! How long are you streaming tonight? Ending early? Uh, the mess... I was told the meal was gonna be bouncing... Soon, I mean, not soon ish, but he was not gonna make it for the usual length of a stream, basically. Mm. I, I was thinking that we were probably gonna finish chapter four tonight. Yeah, I figured at the very least we were doing that. That was kind of my idea for the stream, is that we would do another chapter. Oh my god! <laughs> the 
You can hold the swing direction stall. Yes, but you need to build up speed to do that. And that's what keeps getting me sh frozen by the uh, by the ice fireballs. Boy, the goodness sure ended rapidly, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, fair, we skipped a stage. I don't know, the other stage probably sucked too, if I'm being real. <laughs> I don't remember which one it was, but you know. Yeah, no, it's like I, I have to build up momentum to get to do that, and then it auto swings me forward. I'm not doing that. That's not me doing that. That's the game. Ah. Uh. Yeah, there was no way I was getting out of that one unscathed. Oh, God, I'm almost out of regular jumps. Here, let me see if I can get the hammer right for once. Nope. It was still enough. Yeah. Is there gyro to it? I don't think so. No. There we go. They sure give you a lot to contend with here. This just really goes on for a while, huh? Hey, no, no hopping, no hopping. Come on, oh, there we go. You're getting good. Well, now, now that I've got the speed built up, that's about it. Ooh. Yep, I knew it. Ooh. Again, swinging. Oh man, two enemies, they're really stepping it up now. No, oh, I didn't want lightning bolt. No. Okay, apparently I did want lightning bolt. LOL. That's not gonna kill. Actually, well, sorry, seven. Never mind. Thought they had 14 each. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. Oh, come on! What? Uh. This could be like. This could this be, could a, be a lot shorter fight. than it is. This does not need to be this long. This, this feels like a final boss fight or something. Like, holy cow. I am starting to. Uh. I may not run low on stickers, but. That was dumb. They're jumping. <laughs> I forgot, they're not con they're not considered on the ground, but they're not considered flying, so if I kicked a shell, it would kill them. But POW, since they're not fully standing on the ground, won't work. Just a weird technicality. I don't remember a slap Wait. hammer. Oh, oh, it does count! Frick! You swung it directly at his face! Yeah, it doesn't specify that one has to be on the ground, so I'm a bit surprised. But I guess hammers usually need you to be on the ground, so... Alright, well... The en that enemy is clearly on the ground! Oh, you're right, I should use the spike hat. Because it's... Because of Paragoombas. Hmm. Oh well. Well, let's just kill him off. I remember thinking fondly of this level. I don't know if I was just really good at it the first it's time. It's just I the Inning Mansion it. is all I remember being good. I remember not liking this. Uh, I, I remember liking the the lifts. Maybe I'm thinking of another area that's like no, this. No, this is like the only time like this as far as I can remember. Luigi! Oh! Uh, Get out of my video game, Luigi. <laughs> Ugh. Remember when people were begging for them to make a Paper Luigi game and, like, have it be about the story of his quest to save Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom from the evil Chestnut King? Yep. Now now he's a frickin' joke. <laughs> Alright, how many stickers do I have left? I'm on page. Oof, okay. Yeah, we went through a fair amount, actually. I don't think Tim realized he dropped from the call even this late. <laughs> Jeez. He might he's he he's ever... two in a Mario Kart at this point. I don't think he ever noticed. <laughs> Damn, that level sucked. I remember only the first one really having a hiccup in it, though, but that was a lot worse than I remembered. All right, but that's it for that, at least. 
Mm -hmm. There's the boss area. So let's go back to 4-4, four four, because I think that someone said that might be a shop. And if that's the case, I wouldn't mind popping in there. Oh, actually, wait, we can go back to the, the mansion first. I think I know what I was remembering that was actually good. Yeah, so the steward being actually used, that would make sense for this to be like a trigger for something. So yet again, the Indic Mansion actually makes logical sense. Mm, yes, welcome. Okay, I'll sit in the chair, fine. When you become this when you become rich, you lose all of your color. Ah, what a pleasant surprise this is. You're the one who took the lift uh, the other day, are you not? So nice of you to brave the snows to come to such a faraway place. Please make yourselves at home. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Mm, yeah. Oh, this is you, right? Hmm. Yes. Welcome. It's been such a long time since we've had visitors to this house. It pleases me greatly, I must admit. I am also happy to make Master Mario feel at home. So happy I'm giving you more health. So happy I'm giving you my cardiovascular system. <laughs> so happy I'm dead now. It must have sucked for that other guy that he was going to be the steward of the mansion, though, but then because we brought the dead one back to life, now he's the servant. Well, he must be happy if he gave us the power of love. Hmm. It pleases me to know, and that I can make you feel very, I can make you feel welcome, Master Mario. Same thing. He is immune to being hit by the hammer. But you yeah, not. when your dead, ha when your dead hammers pass through you, it's a known fact. Same thing. Okay. Well, I'm stealing your star again, so I hope you don't mind. Gold! Yeah, it's three coins! I feel like at this point, three coins is just as good as 300 coins with how many we have. Yeah. Alright. Here's the oh. <laughs> I forgot about this! <laughs> this chapter is really funny! Okay, we gotta go for another 30 I'm second bird away. <laughs> Alright, the flashy clone jump. Clone Mario stomp a single foe. I really like the design of that sticker. It just looks cool. Like the rainbow background with like the shoe with the clockwork key on it. It just looks cool. I'd buy a pair of shoes like that. And the robot! <laughs> Shaved ice cave sticker shop. All right. Um, I think the next world or the next stage is the end of the world. So, what ability should I be bringing with me? I assume something fire related. That would probably, be a given. That seems like a safe bet. Like probably the oven is only one space though, so I'd probably grab that by default. Then maybe something else as a background. Lots of fire. Everything fire, bunch of fire, everything fire, fire just fire, only fire. You need lots of fire things where there's smoke, they pinch back. My no God. one actually said that. I haven't heard that no in actually, ages. No one actually said that, I just did. No. <laughs> there aren't any elemental immunities, only weaknesses. So water gun works. Let's see. Well, bring the radiator back. Oh, Tim's battery died is what it was. Oh. He just came in and told me that. There's a secret door in 4-2 uh, that has a hair dryer which deals heat damage. Hmm. Well, at the very least, let's get the radiator back in our inventory. Did I get the oven? Uh, I did not. Yes, no, I did. No, you did. I'm, you did. 
I remember we made a point of that. But the oven's the a oven big sticker, so that's why I was like a bit worried about it. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna take the sta- Oh, actually, the stapler's a big one too, isn't it? Shit. Apparently, don't use bowling pins on the boss. It crashes the game somehow. Amazing. Yep, that happens again. <laughs> but, but, this, we, we but this one that last didn't time get patched, right? This is the one that didn't get patched? No, I don't think any of them got patched. It was just, we discovered that last time the, the World 3 boss crashes to the bowling ball. And then it happens again for this boss too. Jeez. Which, you know... Testing out thing stickers on bosses is what you're supposed to be doing to figure out what they're weak to, too. So it's like by doing the thing that it wants you to be doing, it crashes. Somehow seems fitting. You seem to be getting more negative on this game. You used to always tell me, oh, come on, it's not that bad. And stuff, I still so, don't think like... it's that bad. This is just me. This is just me, Emil. <laughs> I guess after the things you've seen games do, like, literally explode. I still don't think this is bad. I still think there's a ton of terrible decisions in this game, but I have definitely played worse in my life. Well, imagine if, like, your favorite thing ever turned into this and had nothing in common with what it once was. Dude, Ninja Gaiden turned into Dare Live Extreme Beach Volleyball. <laughs> I mean, you at least like boobs. I don't like paper puns. I, I don't believe you on you not liking paper puns. I think you just got oversaturated on them. Yeah, that's, that's the thing is they're oversaturated. <laughs> when it's this cold, everything freezes. <laughs> okay. So my issue is that the paper jokes are fun for a while. The first couple hours of Color Splash, laughing every time. First couple hours of Origami King, laughing every time. But the thing is, it doesn't take itself seriously for five minutes. They never say anything else. So I just get tired of it because I see all of the jokes coming every single time. People tell me I did the I pressed L at the wrong time in the shop, so I'll go back to the shop. <laughs> and on top of that, having a story and having interesting characters and being creative is not mutually exclusive with telling jokes about paper. You can do both. Oh, they wanted to show me that there were giant oh! big shines. Yeah. Yeah, I think the comment. Honestly, like people tell me that like Color Splash and Origami King are hilarious. I think Thousand Year Door is way funnier because like it takes itself seriously for five minutes at least some of the time, so the jokes are better timed and they catch you off guard more. Hmm. It's not just trying to constantly make you laugh about paper every single time. Yeah, sorry, someone said go to the shop for and press L for funny dialogue, so that's why I didn't go and press L at the shop, in the shop menu. Okay, I'm running out of inventory space. Well, that was a new door. Uh, sorry, pa Super Paper Mario is also hilarious. I, like, wanted to bring that up. Super Paper Mario is amazing. It has comedy that was, like, truly ahead of its time. Premium entrance! Fast track to the attraction, no waiting! Oops. You Thought just I have to murder this man and not just pay. Just murder this man and skip the line. <laughs> so this is what I was remembering was actually kind of good. I remember really liking this level. Oh, I don't have very many regular shoes. This might have been a bad decision. So I want you to hop in that line, like in the gap between the shy guys. Whenever like they move, no, uh, uh, on the left, like the left line. Hang, hang on, I'm checking something. Okay. That's what I thought. Aha. Makes sense. Okay, so what am I doing? Uh, so the shy guys that are moving, whenever yeah. there's a gap, I want you to like hop into the gap. Uh, you want to go down below. You mean so I get oh, yeah, to stop like this? I just like that he gets mad at you cutting in line. <laughs> that's all That's all it was. It's just a fun little okay. detail. I got a kick out of that the first time I saw it because I wasn't expecting them to make that a joke. Oh, I took out multiple of the ones in line. Never mind. Hey! Yay! 
I'm sticking over here. No cutting, you gotta wait in line like the rest of us. I wasn't even in the line. <laughs> Someone brought up that this game does have like experience points and leveling, it's just invisible. No, uh, your damage is based on your max HP, which is gotten from finding items. So that's why your damage is going up over the course of the game. It does your damage go up from that? I thought it was just you get stronger items. I thought that was literally it. No, you, you do get stronger items though, but your base damage increases with your HP. Your HP is also your attack stat. Really? I don't remember yeah. that. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, let's grab some tongs. Oh, sorry, sewing scissors. Meow, meow. In this game, it's the it's only first strike damage that increases with your attack stat. In Origami King, it's all damage. Okay, that's really funny. John, take, was it? Uh, oh, the more health you get, the stronger your first strike gets. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's it's weird. Someone said, John, you want to take the other line for a special thing. D do you mean to save the red toad again? The... Oh, well, Mario, you're just in time. These crooks are making me buy a premium ticket for 100 coins. Don't buy it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god, what? Uh, um, what? What is. Th these are not anti guys. Uh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh! Poison every turn! Uh, the one time I got the three. It, it, it's only three turns. <laughs> Not every turn. All right. So let's, let's mix it up here. Let's use the boom box to up our attack power. It's it, it, John. Yeah? I... I... I I, I don't I I don't think you should have consumed the fungus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get it out of your system, Emil. I, I don't I don't think that was a good idea, and I, I think that that you should know that. <laughs> you don't think I should know that? <laughs> Let's listen to the music. Okay, so I tried clicking it to the beat like someone said. I did not get a perk out of it. It was only two. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see the power block because I'm coded by the fucking menu. <laughs> nice damage, actually. <laughs> Damn, that boombox is overpowered. Yeah, and I had just enough to finish it up. Um, I don't know if the story of Origami King gets better as it goes on, does it? Would you say? Because I, I got up to like the third uh, I, I... Yes and no. So I like the story until the very end of the story. The villain's motivation at the very end when they reveal it is quite possibly one of the dumbest things I've, writ I've read in a while. I remember Active being like, oh. wow, they just undermined their entire story at the end. Oh. Huh. Because people tell me that Origami King has, like, a great story, and, like, from the three chapters I played, I really didn't think it did. I I felt like they were, like, trying to kind of make characters that you'd resonate with, though, but it always just kind of felt unearned. And, like, the one character that everybody freaks out about and gets sad about, I thought that was really stupid and unearned, and I saw it coming from a mile away, where I, 
didn't really grow attached to that character. I just thought he was annoying and useless. And I was, like, just waiting for him to do literally anything. And when they did the thing with him, I was just kind of like, oh, all right. <laughs> your your partner, the that whole story beat? You yeah, got that, that far that, in the that, game? That, that one, the partner that everybody remembers, yes. Uh, yeah, I was uh, pretty let down by that, too, because I had played Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't mean to be that guy, but, um, actually, that happened plenty of times in the last five games, and that didn't happen, but yeah. <laughs> I I thought that character was just annoying and useless, and I was just waiting for him to do literally anything, and when they did that, I was just kind of like, oh, and yeah, I saw it coming. I thought it was really dumb. Um... Just, yeah, you know, we're, we're, like, we're trying to be vague, so, like, we're don't yeah. don't specifically pick spoilers yeah. out of that, but we're trying to be as vague as we can without, while still talking yeah. about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm intentionally wording this very vaguely. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know, I didn't really get into that character. I, I don't know, it felt like unearned drama to me. Um, because he hadn't really done anything up to that point, I wasn't really attached to him. So, yeah, that's kind of how I felt. And on top of that... A lot of people tell me they like Olivia. I thought Olivia was really annoying too. Where I thought Olivia was all right. She had her, she definitely had her moments. She had some good moments though, but like she re-explains things more than Fi does. It's wild the number of times that she explains the same things over and over again. Probably shouldn't be wasting all my money just buying these things when I'm probably gonna need stuff later. But eh, people in the chat are saying Olivia is good, so I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong there. I I, I liked her by the end of the game. I I, she I liked her. She wasn't she wasn't the worst, but I did think she was kind of annoying at times. Olivia's by far better than Kirsty. I mean, that's a low bar we're setting there. <laughs> yeah. All right. I I can I can see like people liking Olivia, I guess though. But yeah, the other character, no. Um. Maybe if I gave Origami King a fair shot, I played it for 12 hours, I didn't have fun. <laughs> Wait, did someone say you weren't giving the game a yeah, fair shot? Like, somebody said I needed to give it a fair shot. I was like, I played half of it, I didn't yeah, have fun. Yeah, like like I said, like I was surprised you got that far, that you got to the end of that storyline. Yeah, I, I played three chapters of it, I didn't like it. It had good moments, but I thought the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay was awful, and, like, there were some things about the story that people really liked that I just didn't. So. Thoughts on the second partner? I forgot who it is, so... <laughs> I'm actually in the same boat. I don't remember, but I know I, I played the... I can I think of another partner area. you get, but I'm thinking way later in the game, and if that's the second partner, that's kind of sad. Oh, that one. I guess all right. The Toad. Oh, oh Jesus, I completely forgot he was in the that's game. Like the one, that's like the one time you actually get a field skill. I, completely, I, I remembered the spa partner. That was great. That would be my favorite partner setup. In in Fitome said Emil, people tell you you didn't give this game a fair shot and you hundred percent of it. That is so true. <laughs> I get told that on Twitter all the time that like I probably haven't played this game or I didn't give it a fair shot or I didn't give it a chance, and I'm like, I hundred percent of it. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll like go back and finish the rest of it though, but I was just I was so done with it by the halfway point. Yeah. The only part I didn't like of the spa, I can't mention it because it's a spoiler, but, I mean... It's a spoiler? No, well, I mean, here's the thing. Like, if you've played this game, it's a reoccurring segment, so you'll know exactly what I'm referring to. This is the part I remember liking. The the intro section's really fun. You can cut in line in front of the shy guys and you get a little visual joke there. Um, and then you get to do this, and I remember thinking this is pretty cool. 
So there's one, like, okay level with a hiccup at the beginning. We have one actually good level. We got one crappy level. We have a store, and then we have a good level. So I'd say that rounds out to a good chapter. Yeah, I think the ice chapter may be one of the strongest ones in the game, which, I, again, not saying the most, but... Yeah. I think, without a doubt, this is the best chapter in the game. If the rest of the game was, like, this consistently good, I probably wouldn't give it the title of least favorite game, but... Right... Yeah, you gotta get the scrap. Do I have to hit him, or can I just grab it? I forget. I don't remember. Well, let's try grabbing. Nope. Oh, you <coughs> oh, him. I need, is it just an item? I, f <coughs> I forget. I think I, I just- you gotta melt, maybe you gotta melt the ice? No, I think I literally put an, a, a block <coughs> in front of him. <coughs> What's something That's I don't mind funny. parting with? You okay? Yeah, sorry, I'm, ch I'm choking for a little bit there. Okay. Just making sure. You are cared for. <coughs> yeah, there we go. Fuck! Oh, thanks for the flashy iron jump. Nice. You got the minecart rail! Uh oh, I almost thought Yo, I was gonna make oh that in time because I got I hit the spikes. I thought I was gonna uh, let him do it. I might be okay. Maybe. It's gonna be a frame one jumper, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna mash it. We're fine. Uh oh. Oh, this song. Oh, you just noticed it was playing? Yeah, I couldn't really hear it before, though, but yeah, this song is a fantastic choice for what this is. This is a pretty good version of the song, too. Yeah. Damn. Well, there's a pipe there. I'm sorry, I know you donated for negativity. <laughs> Where is this gonna send me since I don't have the scrap? To hell! Sure did. <laughs> that reminds me, my oh god, back here. Yeah, well, we're not gonna do that, so let's take the pipe. No. <laughs> that reminds me, I... So, Shadow the Hedgehog is really funny. Like, really funny. But everyone always quotes, like, the damn fourth Chaos Emerald. I love that joke, though, but to me, the best quote in that game is one no one, I never hear talked about, and it's the, You're going straight to hell. <laughs> I love that. Shit, I grabbed it too late. Oh, no. Actually, wait, what? what is about to happen? Because I am on this railing I just grabbed. Oh, it, re it rewound uh, me. Okay, that's nice of it. Oh, wow. See, I was like the... <laughs> it's like taking candy from a baby, which I'm more than okay with. Yeah, which is fine by me. <laughs> Fucking Shadow. What an asshole. He's so evil. <laughs> so, so edgy. No room in the album. Out, it's come out, like, since that that was actually an attempt to appeal to Americans. <laughs> really? I'm not kidding. The, Shadow the Hedgehog was made as an attempt to appeal to Americans. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oops. Uh... Is there room now? Nope. Uh... Why did it have to be the big one? Uh... Yeah, it feels dirty throwing that away, so... Don't. Uh, maybe those regular hammers back there Hang on, on page let's five? get in some fight. Let's get in some fights, quickly. Okay. Good. Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs> this whole invincibility mechanic. Oh, fuck right off. 
Bah! Even in battle, you could not avoid that ice ball. Ay, ay, ay. Here, let's get, let's get the slappy. Just call me Three D. I'm not gonna make it in time. Uh, oh! Ooh! I forgot touching them re refreshes them. That should fit now. Oh, oh come baby. on! Oh come on! Just I guess just throw away like a small one. Uh, like maybe the hop. I think there was like a regular hammer. Yeah, that should be fine. Still won't fit. No. <laughs> Here, let's just. Uh, oh. God, this fucking game. I know, it's the size of the high heels, so I need to use up like something like the high heels or the goat. Or just throw away a couple, I guess. Ugh. The thing is that throwing away thing stickers can be deadly before a boss. Alright, force. And it gave me it. Oh my god, I'm trying to use up stickers! It gave you a, it gave you a replacement sticker! <laughs> This is terrible! This is so bad! Oh god, right. oh god. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna have to let it go. I'm gonna have to let it go. You can throw away some regular ones, I guess. Like, I don't know if the helmets are really gonna be that helpful, or... I guess there's a regular hop slipper back there. And I'm willing one. to throw away the door, but something tells me it's gonna be needed in a minute, knowing my luck. Yeah, I'd say, like... I'd say the regular hop slipper on, I think, page two or three. Uh... No, I don't have enough. It's it's not worth it, dude. I'm just letting it go. Okay. All right. That's a shame. Rainbow right. stickers are really Yeah. Cool. I mean, it's good. It's good and powerful, but, like, we have to give up so much for it. I'm going to miss you. Ooh, you've got a hole. Yep. The minecart exit. I like my name better. The Bye hole. sticker. Yeah, the hole. <laughs> it was flashing out of existence as you drove by. <laughs> Gonna make you remember and regret this decision. <laughs> That's like a slap in the face. Hole. Steven's good at saying the word hole. Oh, really? Tell me why. I, I don't know. He says a lot of funny stuff with it. Like, there was that... The art stream at Coliseum 4, I think it was. How he he was just like, you know... You, you, you're putting it into my Coke can? I am done with that Coke. You literally inserted it into the hole. Fair enough. That whole, um... That whole segment, the art segment at Coliseum 4 and 5... Are... That, that entire segment is always a highlight reel. Oh, is it time? It's time! For Icy Bowser! Oh, for fuck's sake. We're starting with- Oh, ho, ho, ho. Funny how I can keep getting this one. Funny how I can keep getting this one. No problem. No problem. <laughs> you know, John, the odds are doubled on the coins. You should shoot for those. <laughs> yeah. Yep, sure are. All right. So, chat, refresh my memory. Uh, I have to use the heater to melt the armor so he takes actual damage, right? He does not take damage otherwise. So I'm thinking order of operations is boombox, radiator, and then just some powerful summon. Fire Any fire, fire takes out the fire. armor, okay. Okay. No eat mushroom. You can use anything, fire just, just makes them smaller, okay. All right. Boombox, radiator. What are we throwing in the third spot? We've got the high heels again. We've got the goat, the oven, and the stapler. I know a bunch of people want the, the goat, but I want to use the, the oven. 
I want to throw them in oven. the oven. No one's saying ta stapler. Ta tell you what, I'm going to use the oven on three, and if the f fight continues, I'll use goat in the next round. I wonder how much damage this is going to do, because the oven's really powerful, but so is the boom box, and you're stacking those two together. Well, provided I can get the timing right on this. I think you just mash. No, I think it is rhythm base. Oh, nice. Great. Yeah, I can't get the accent Great. if I'm mashing, so. Hmm. Radiator is mashed, though. I've said this in previous streams, but I didn't know that these even had action commands my first playthrough because the game never tells you, so I just thought I was watching a cutscene. Same. 99 damage! Half for an oven. And oven! I bet with the 3D on, this looks kind of cool. Toasty! 99 damage! We're getting damage capped here. That's nuts. Uh, 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 uh. Matryska Bowser! <laughs> oh, I blocked way too early! Yep. Whoop. That doesn't do as much as you'd think. Alright. I did promise goat, so here's goat. I think we might need to melt the armor first, though. Oh, oh shit, you're right, the armor's back. Uh... So some form of fire. Maybe the shiny fire flower. I think that would have to come before the goat. Ah, uh, they're saying it is fine. That's oh, fine? Okay. So I don't need to... So I don't need to worry about using fire right now? Like, he'll take normal damage? Just do it before, just in case. Just in case. Did that bring magnifying glass? Someone said uh, use magnifying glass. I forget if it did. What did you did? Oh yeah, sure enough. Yeah, well, let's do that. Fire first. Go! He's here. Oh. I'm a goat. That. Ah! Those delicious feet. Oh, I was mashing on that. Now I get how it works. He has Mew HP. Oh, he's cracking. That was actually a timing one, and I realized it too late. So, ah, uh, I never want to see that again. I saw. <laughs> <the goat>. <laughs> 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 99. And, oh, wow, right in the crotch. You were magnifying his crotch. To show how tiny it is now. Oh. Uh. Shh. Oh. It's the Koopa Bro. Oh, no. Uh, no. Shh, 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 shiny time. It's kind of rare that they really use Mr. Blizzard for anything important, so points for originality here. Finally, something that wasn't a poison mushroom. Mm. Congratulations. All right, I have some lot. sewing scissors. Uh, a stapler, and if you somehow survive... Some high heels. <laughs> I like how it gets bigger as it goes on. <laughs> to pieces, I say. To pieces. He Fif survived. Fif All right, well, we're using the stapler. We'll put this is going to be a very painful HP for him to die. Oh, that's kind of cute. Are there different colors? I've never seen different colored staples. 70. Bump. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I just made a wish on this shiny sticker and then all this madness happened. I was disappearing from ice to fog, returning to the sky. I just wanted a body that wouldn't melt. 
So I became 30 Bowsers. All right, are you ready? When the cold snows fall next year, you'll make me again, won't you? Then we can meet once more. Don't ask why my voice got so majestic after dying. That's just how it be. Oh, I should have left. Damn it. You got there a you royal go. sticker. Only two left. Spring came and snow started to melt. My body got uncomfortably spelt. I lamented the frail bod I was dealt. A sticker knew my wish was heartfelt. And that's when I got ripped! Thanks to Anchor Arms! <laughs> New page added. I genuinely like that boss fight. It's not that bad. It's easy enough to figure out that, yeah, you need fire to melt the ice, and they give you a lot of chances to get fire items in the Enig Mansion. And he's got kind of a sad story, actually. Like, it's the only, like, time that a boss really ever has personality, so it stands out. See, I would think it's sad if it wasn't literally the plot of Frosty the Snowman. I guess, but I don't know. I think derivative plot is better than no plot with this game, so... I, I guess. But... It feels like they actually kind of tried on that one, so... Good <laughs> John, shush! <laughs> I'm Josh. sorry, I don't feel sad for the snowman! I live in Canada! Yeah, I don't know. I I think... It's, it's better than the other bosses. The stapler did 70, and that was with just a nice, so I should probably grab that one, too. Uh, and now I've used up most of my money. Wait, what part of Frosty did he turn into a giant snow monster and stop the spring from coming? Oh, that was the sequel. <laughs> that was Frosty Returns. I'm gonna look up if this is real. Frosty Returns is actually a sequel. That is real. But no, wow. he does not turn into a giant monster. <laughs> Yeah. Frosty Returns is a 1992. Wow, a lot later than the original. John Goodman playing Frosty the Snowman. I mean, that's a good choice for a voice for Frosty. John Goodman's just good in every role he does. <laughs> I can't think of a single role he's ever done that I dislike. Alright, Emil, here's the million dollar question that goes to you now. Uh, what is your plan? Because you said you wanted to be done in less than an hour or so, if memory serves. We could start Chapter 5, I guess. I remember I mean, Chapter 5 doesn't really have a lot going for it. Do you want to be told what thing sticker you'll need next? Sure. I'm just grabbing my, my, my go-tos, meanwhile. You need vacuum Probably and goat. Oh, that's the original. No, oh, I didn't. I didn't rebuy goat shit. Right, because the goat has to eat like some high grass, doesn't he, or something like that? Which makes sense because we're going to the jungle. On the Wikipedia page, Frosty Returns makes no effort to establish itself in the 1969 special's fictional universe. <laughs> yeah. sounds, oh no. That, that sounds so overly dramatic for Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Literally unwatchable. <laughs> the Frosty the Snowman cinematic universe. <laughs> Stay perky. All right. So that jingle earlier was to take a break, but what do you want to do, Mill? You want to take a small break and then we make a push to see how far we get in World Five? What are you thinking? Sure, let's do a small break and then let's at least start World Five. I'm not tired yet, and this also only comes once a year, so I'm willing to get tired for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's go to break then, in that case, because I need to Woo! refill my glass and stretch my legs. Okay, I'll be right back. Gotta refill my tea. 
I might actually get to complain about Paper Mario tonight and have it not be off topic. You were enjoying the 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 nicety of the game a little too much. Yeah. Now I the hate is. I'll be right back. All right, JT Average, Paradox Prophet 615, History Master, Warrior of Fire, Captain Joe, and Ariel Inn. Thank you all for the gift sub bombs. Marvel 410, White Reshiram 88, and Verizon Green. Actually, is that Verizon? It says V I R I Z I O N. So, was it be Verizon? Because, like, the Pokemon? Is that a Pokemon? I'm getting no message from Emil, so you either left or I. It is not. Um, either way, Verizian Green as well. Thank you and welcome to the stream. Sorry you picked the cow stream of all streams to show up, but hopefully you're having fun. Yes, that is a Pokemon? Okay, thank God. That's what I thought. All right. But either way, uh, special shout-outs to everyone else as well here. Sombra Mink 91 at 85. Sarah Bear at 85. Red Cinder at 91. Blade Rex at 96. Ringtail 99 for 96. KMAX 639 at 101. And everyone else that's there as well. Thank you all, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of, I assume, again, the Shuffler. No. I got one from Draco. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a present from me to you. Look at your left. What? Well, friends. I look forward to and Emil's not even here again. for it. Emil's not even here for it. From Philip Draco, prototype cow Makazi. I'll have to replay this for Emil. Cow. <laughs> cow. <laughs> I like how it's still somehow the Earthworm Jim cow, too. All right. We're going to go to break. When we come back, I'm going to have to show that to Emil again when he shows up. And uh, we'll continue Sticker Star for a bit. See you guys, folks. See you guys then. Will you add it? Yeah, probably. There's a couple cows I meant to add that haven't been added yet. Still want to do that Gordon Ramsay one.
Lisa Mike's Big Break and Play for Days. You missed that. Yeah. That was a weird one. <sighs> okay, it's time to die for real. Oh. I'm all alone. Alan Rich's journal feature story that these electrocuted structures render the desert shower around the water beers block and take a couple hours to get all those people over the balance of pens, deep bit picture areas, paper cutters, waffle lines, window shutters, paint rooms, window loose, mass state, plastic cutters. This is a fumigation, high performance lubrication, metal for being bloody, for being multi purpose insulation. <laughs> I come back and you're quoting Hardware Store. Why am I not surprised? Tim was singing white and nerdy, so I started doing Hardware Store. Still not surprised. <laughs> Automatic circumcisers. I mean, that's just a table saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's a fan-made music video for Hardware Store that's on YouTube, and when it gets to automatic circumcises, it just shows a pair of buzz saws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, this Emil, I have some- This is filthy, oh. but just three shots from kitchen gun. <laughs> and it sparkles like new. I love you, kitchen gun! I have something to show you, which I don't know if chat yeah. told you about or not. Uh, your cow idea. Oh no. Cow. <laughs> Terrible! But I love it! <laughs> I don't even know if it needs more development. The prototyping is great. That, the prototype's pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, like it's a really solid prototype. <laughs> It's always fun whenever, like, a prototype just ends up being the final because it works better than, like, what a more, like, developed version would be. Yeah. Alright. I'll read out that one that just went off before we shut off the alert. Tam Metro Arnold says, Trying this once more and on of clearing Luigi's Mansion 3, getting to play alongside your streams was a blast, even if we never paired up in the scra scare scraper. Thanks for the assist in clearing Luigi's Mansion 3, and if the respective alert comes up, kudos to Karma. No, you actually got the uh, the PS4 Spider-Man one instead, but yeah. still was good. Um, I'm also going to read this one here uh, from Silver Aces. Thank you to both you and Emil for all the great content and laughter. You've helped me through some of my own doubts, and thank you for everything. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Alright. John like, shows a meal a cow. <laughs> What's the It's Raw one? That one hasn't been made yet. That's just It's just gonna be Gordon Ramsay screaming, It's fucking raw! That's it. That's the alert. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna read out all the alerts here. Any messages that do need to be paid, uh, passed on to a meal, I will make sure happen after the stream. Uh, but just for the sake of us not being here and reading through a hundred plus cows. <laughs> sorry, 200 plus cows, which I think majority did not have any message on top of that. Uh, and for our sanity's sake, we'll, we'll just do that. Because I don't even think my scroll bar can even go and load them all in. Yeah, I got three hours back and it's already struggling. So we'll, do, we'll just say we're likely not reading most donations tonight. I think I read all the reuse that happened, and I think I cut all the yodels as well. Mm. Look at these gifts, and I, I miss Falcon Roulette so much. Mm. That was fun, and I won it two times in a row. It was just fun. I think Glass Doug was like always like really instrumental to whatever the result was. Gla too. Glass Doug usually like swung in whoever's favor for a bit and then I think was it Glass Doug that threw it away at the end? I'm trying to remember. 
I remember he was, I think he was like really bad at first, but then like he brought it back later was what it was. Yeah, Glass Dog, the whole point was that he was like super powerful, but like, no, what, what was the level one one? Oh, the dud. That was the level one was the dud. Yeah, the, the dud. But like the dud could level up potentially and like actually like become strong by the end if it came up. I think the dud like won it for, like kept me in the game the first time where it barely survived. Yes, this sounds right. Yeah. All right, let's get back to it. Uh, let's shuffle all this around. Mm -hmm. So we got the goat, which is what we need for the next area. We got uh -huh. the boom box. We got a whole page to play around with now. And right, we have the vacuum and some big boys. You're seeing how overwhelming this inventory management can get late game with just how many pages there are and all these stickers that are different shapes or different different sizes, sorry. All right, let's go. Oh, right, I didn't heal. The Toad House slogan is refresh your body and mind. Too bad you're playing this game. Mm. Triangle stickers win. I mean, we've already fought some triangle enemies. Did you know that in Paper Mario 1, some toads say that the slogan is refresh your body and mind, but others say it's refresh your body and soul? I mean, both make sense. Yeah, they say both in the game, so it's inconsistent. All right, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> That's rude. I want the thingy! Oh, they brought back the tribal guys. Or sorry, they're now spear guys, which makes more sense. I think they were always called spear guys. Uh... I think it's in this stage. There's another part of this game that I think is actually kind of cool. But I'll, I'll still my tongue until we get to it. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Attack the first inhabitant. It had it coming. He was asking for it. Man, we're actually kind of low on coins. That's a surprise. I bought a bunch of the items back. That's why some of the things. I know, but I just mean I've, I've played through this whole game not doing a single battle to see if you could, and I never ran out of coins. So... I've just been a little surprised at how coins have actually been coming in kind of handy today. Oh, well, again, we just do a couple fights and we get most of it back, so. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I was... <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, so you're just stuck out here for the rest of your life? I live here now. Let's see what upgrading this shoe gives me. Gives you a boot. Do I get a bigger boot? Yes, I do. You ever meet? No, oh, I've it. never met. Oh, I've never actually met a Canadian who says a boot. Like, have you? It's because we really don't. Yeah, I I don't really agree with that stereotype. I've never found it in the wild. In the wild. You know, observing wild Canadians in their natural habitat. Do you mean Canada? I is that what they're calling it? Yes, we call it Canada. Uh, I forget, <laughs> when he's panting, can I jump on him with a normal jump or do I still have to use uh, steel? I genuinely don't know, but maybe try it. Science! Yeah. Nope, he wakes up. That's so stupid, come on. Ooh, that, didn't, that block did not count. Like, you had a hammer miss something on the ground. These are not good animations for showing what you can do to an enemy. Oh, this is overkill. There we go. You know what, I have a million of these slap hammers. 
I love the scientific method mentioned in the chat. That was such a good moment. <laughs> scientific method. Just try everything. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. There's no question of that. Sorts. Oops, missed. Damn it. All right, well, if you're gonna do that, I think I have some line jumps. Nice, nice. I gotta be careful, because I am at half health already. Nope, can't get behind the flower. I swear there's some spot where you can, though. I'm trying to remember, how is it I don't get bit? Nope. I had to put an item there, don't I? I had to put an item there, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if that's the case. Make it eat your leather oh, no. shoe. No. No. I don't know, actually. Oh, it really is just hit it with a hammer. Wow. Okay, overthinking. Oh, you just stun it. <laughs> Never mind. You overthinking. Two tools and we didn't. Yeah, I didn't consider it either. I thought I'd already tried to hit it with a hammer. That's why I didn't try again. I thought I'd already done it. Damn it. But that uh, puts me a lot where I think I've already done something because it was so obvious, though. But then I find out later that I didn't try it. <laughs> Go. That's not gonna kill the land. Oh, it did actually kill those. Damn it, I wasn't ready for the second one. Ah. Burp. For some reason you can't hit it from behind. Oh, is that what I tried to do was hit it from behind? That would make sense then in that case. Oh, I thought he got me. Behind, behind a flower. I, I don't know. That's you never weird. snuck up behind a flower just so they can't find you? I'll take that as a no. Ooh. Is that a Canadian thing? Not really, no. I almost feel like I need to use a mushroom. <laughs> I, I think maybe you can use a mushroom outside of a battle. I think you can. I don't think you can. Yeah, I guess try it out, see if it You're works. right, I might as well try it, but... Knowing my luck, the second I use it, there's gonna be a healing item right away. Nope, keep or toss. Oh, wow. So much for being able to use items outside of battles. I mean, the, the healing items would be the only one. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. It's like I thought we were playing an actual video game. Well, I'll use the mushroom for one thing then. You want to stomp on it. Ooh. Fire flower, nice. Flash of fire. And I got a shiny mush. I know for the most part in the game, like, they, they put the healing stations pretty fast so and pretty close together, so, like, I'm not going to need to worry too much unless I start bombing some fights. And even then, I can I play roulette to try to get them back. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't think I've ever actually died in this game unexpectedly. I lost to the final boss a couple of times, though, but that's because the final boss sucks and, you know, it's a boss I, fight. But... I think I have just because I was just going a little too willy-nilly. Uh, yeah. There we go. Usually enemies also tend to drop some healing items, so I'm surprised that this group has not. 
at this point, really. It might just detect that you have a lot of them in your inventory. Maybe. Sit on that. I think like when you run out of a certain type of sticker, that's when it starts handing you new ones. Because I've um I've run out of stickers completely before, and it always hands you like two or three new ones. Some of them usually being healing items. There we go, one finally dropped a heart. Good. Guess it is getting to be late game, so they might want to make it more challenging. And there's another heart right there. Whoop, too slow. Oh. And he held it up, damn it. How about a sleepy hammer? Ooh. Have a nap. Oh yeah, sleep heals in this game. Yeah. Which is kind of clever. I like how they handled Sleep Kirby in Forgotten Land. I like how it level 1 heals you, and then for level 2 you just pull out like a whole ass bed, and it gives you a buff when you wake up. Oh, I don't know any of that, by the way. Oh. I thought you had played it. I've, I've barely touched it, because I've been stuck in Elden Ring hell. Oh. Elden Ring? Ah. It might as well be, because Jesus Christ. <laughs> The last part of the game just is rough. I mean, uh, so I knew I knew that the powers leveled up, so I'm not surprised. And and yeah, it's like not I the was... first time sleep is healed. I'm just I'm just giving you like the here's the warning yeah. warning. Oh wow. Yeah, I won't tell you like any actual stuff about the game. Imagine John playing a new game when it releases. I am. That's called Elden Ring. That's why I'm not playing anything else. I'm like, if you're telling me that you're 50-50 on Elden Ring because it's too hard, I'm like, I would absolutely loathe playing you, it. If that's you what... would despise Elden Ring. Yeah, I'm just like, if you're telling me it's too hard, then I would probably so, think it's, like, impossible to have fun with. My my problem is, uh, like, my favorite part about it is the, ex the exploring. The exploring in that game is fantastic. Like, every part of that open world has shit going on in it. Like, it's it's phenomenal. It's like one of the best open world games I've seen. But everything else about it is Dark Souls. <laughs> if it had an easy mode, I'd probably try it, but I know it doesn't. No, it definitely does not. I'm at the point where, like, I, I kind of feel like maybe this just happens with age, though, but I'm not really, like, above using easy modes if it enhances my enjoyment of a game, though, because, like, I've 100 percented Pikmin 2 three times in my life, and that is way more than enough for one lifetime and was miserable, so, like, if they ever remade Pikmin 2 and they threw in, like, a new easy mode for the kids, I would replay it on the easy mode because I've already paid my dues. <laughs> I didn't even try to do that! <laughs> I'm just like, Pikmin 2 was not fun to 100%, and I've done it more times than I care to. Whenever I'm healing off of this. <laughs> oh, no, wait, hang on. Well, let's, let's use the regular one. Is there... Can you get uh, a good off of that? Or nice? I forget. Is there a timing thing for mushrooms, chat? I forget. Yes, you can. Okay. Can, uh... Right when the sticker peels off. Poison. Okay. I can't believe triple poison mushrooms in the same night, like three times in the same night. Well, the other ones I was more or less trying for, that one I definitely was not. I was just mashing on that one. Hmm. But yeah, going back to Elden Ring for a minute, I, like, I feel bad because I've been complaining about it so much lately, but like the last quarter of the game is just unbalanced. It's just brutal, dude. There's all this side content to do, like, I'm, I'm at the very linear part now, which is just like, okay, now I'm less interested in the game, but, like, everything kills me in three hits. Or one hit if it's my mage. <laughs> so it's just like, Jesus, come on, man. Uh, come I don't know, I... Oh. I was just gonna say, cut me some slack. <laughs> I was gonna say that, I, th I think this is just me getting old, though, but I'm like, bro, I'm a 30-year-old man, I ain't got time for anything in a game that kills me more than twice. <laughs> 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 it's 
So it's not really a good idea to suggest Elden Ring for a chill stream? Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Make sure you get that 60 vigor. Man, my vigor's at like 46 or something like that, but I'm only getting 25 per now, so it doesn't feel as worth it. Mm. At least Breath of the Wild 2 is next year. <laughs> And you know what? I don't know. By the time I'm done Elden Ring, I don't think I'm going to watch touch, touch an open world game for quite a while. <laughs> Maybe I'll be recharged by the time Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. I can't believe just how many games Monolith has released in the time it's taken us to get an asset reusy sequel to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to assume they have changed their mind on it being an asset reusing sequel. My my guess is that um is that it changed direction partway through production or it had like a major production issue that caused them to just like drastically change the kind of game that it was. I mean, it still seems to be using the same story beats, so like something's happened. Yeah, I don't know. I I almost wouldn't be surprised if they were holding out for like the next level of hardware. Hmm. That's what I think they're going to try to do. Oh right, this is one where I have to chase them three separate ways. Have you or Chugga played Fire Emblem? Oh yeah, we've both played Fire Emblem games before. Yeah. I'll have you know that I am an old school fan who started with Awakening. I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> I mean, okay, people who were like eight when Awakening came out are adults now. Yeah, actually. <laughs> He's yeah, not wrong. I'm not I'm not joking. He's like, out of line, like, but he's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of not wrong there. <laughs> oh, crap. That was only 11 damage. Ooh, 9 damage. <laughs> Good lord. To be fair, I did play the original Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance when I was, I think, 11 or 12, and I remember that my child self said it sucked but I want to try it again as an adult because I get the feeling I think much more highly of it now. I mean, well, you say the original. It's the original we got over here, but yeah, like... Yeah, the, the original we got over here, yes. Can I get over here? Get up, get up. This wouldn't be so bad if I could move a little quicker. I know it's the seventh game in Japan, but... Uh, he is I'm aware, just, chat. It, it is just called Fire Emblem in the U.S., though, so I've always just called it the original, you know? I actually have a copy of Path of Radiance. I got it back when it was like 70 bucks, which now it's approximately 8,000. Counterpoint, there have been four games from Awakening to now, and yet there have been seven from 2002 to 2012. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, like, He's not wrong because a ton of people got into the series when Awakening happened. Like, Awakening is yeah. known to have saved the series, quote-unquote. Yeah, I... So, like, I can't really blame people for not playing the earlier games because, okay. Fire Emblem Pre-Awakening, it falls into one of three categories. Either it was only released in Japan, it costs $500, or it sucked. <laughs> Like, I think all of them fit into one of those three categories. Most of them are good. I'm not, like, saying that, like, a big chunk of them are bad. I was gonna say, which Fire Emblem sucked? I don't remember any really being panned. I heard that the remake of the... Uh, the remake of the... Famicom oh, the DS one, remake. Yeah. Yes, the DS yeah. remake of the first game. Yeah, that one yeah. felt lacking in I heard, features. I heard that one was bad from a lot of people. And I heard that Thrasha 776, I hear that that game is nuts, like, difficulty-wise. Oh, yeah. Where uh, Thar yeah, 776 is brutal. I I've heard that it has its fans, though, but difficulty-wise, I've heard that it's so hard to the point that it's kind of not fun for a lot of people. And, like, I would also... Fates is, like, the ultimate example of a game that I want to like, but just don't. <laughs> Where it has some good qualities, but I'm just not a big fan. Oh, this... Okay, this is the thing. Right, this, this, is the thing. this is why they wanted me to bring the goat. Okay. So, so I, I definitely you... use the vacuum here when I played through this. So before you do, do you do that? You do that. Yeah. I want you to go around these scraps and read them. Read them? So yes, you can actually check some of these. Yeah, see. So there's some interesting things in here. 
Goomba Koopa Paratroopa, a, a Porter App, a Pookamboog. <laughs> okay. Shellshock 1. Lately, Shellshock 3 seems a bit down. Maybe he's got some troubles. Over. Shellshock 2. Somewhere so tie a here. pink ribbon, dance all about, just try not to get egg on your face. Two out of two. Two out of two is a perfect score. Well, that's page two of what looked to be Birdo's song and dance. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what that is. I'm leaving this garbage pile. You're, you're not done, but I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> just upgrade. Yeah. Uh, yeah, regular hammer. Is this game really considered torture? I know the game is bad, is it really torture? I don't think it's torture, but we, we play it up a little bit. But it is definitely not a, it's got some decisions made in it. Die! And that's Emil's thoughts on the matter. Die! Defending like Shadow Dragon and stuff though. Like, I mean, if you're a fan of it, like, cool. I mean, the game itself is fine. It's just lacking in features compared to like even the GBA ones at that point. Mm -hmm. And I heard a lot of people didn't like how the visual style, how like everything is like pre rendered CG and it just did not age well. Not sure on that one. I don't know. I remember playing it for a bit, thinking it was all right. And then Castlevania Order of Ecclesia came out. So I'm like, yep, playing this one. <laughs> Let's go over to this. Can't blame you there. I have that and I need to actually like sit down and play more of it. I mean, it's good. I like it. Yeah, I know. I know it's very good. Like, uh, that's, I, I've heard that's an argument. Like, that's in the conversation for Best Castlevania. Mushroom Business Association General Affairs Division Soda Branch Section Chief Toad. Boar. Mushroom Business Association Warp Pipe Development Unit, Material Department Vice President Toad. What? When you've seen one Toad, you've seen them all. This would be much easier if they were, like, easy to spot. Okay, tell me if this is, like, me getting into, like, conspiracy theory territory, but I felt like King Ollie was, like, a slight at, um, like, a slight at, like, the old Paper Mario fans where. You know, in Origami King, the heroes are fighting to keep the world boring while he's like, well, if you've seen one Toad, you've seen them all. I'm making things more interesting, and they're treating that like it's wrong. Oh, is this the spot that people wanted me to find the reference to earlier Paper Mario games? Is that why we're doing this? Uh, there's a couple of Or were okay. we looking for uh, this code? This, this code. So, uh, this is something that I want to draw attention to. Uh, okay. So... This code, nobody knows what it means. I want, I just want to like let that sink in. This is actually a mystery in a Mario game that has persisted for 10 years. The actual meaning of this has never been deciphered. Um, it is the length of an eShop code. People have tried and putting it there. It doesn't do anything um, on the 3DS, Wii U, or Switch. Um, no one knows what it means. I think it's genuinely interesting that this has managed to remain unsolved for this long. Uh, it's not known if this is a password you're supposed to input somewhere, or if it ha it's a coded message. It could be all sorts of different things. But I've tweeted about this in the past. It's something that I find genuinely fascinating about this game. And I really like it. I I'd really like to see this solved one day. So, here you go. <laughs> it could just be nonsense, too, though, to be fair. I guess it could. Maybe I am giving the game too much credit. Toad, 18 out of 40 correct. Please see me in my office. <laughs> I see why you threw it away. Uh, is the same code in Japan's version of the game? I don't know that. I don't actually know what that code is in Japanese. That might be a good starting point. Is that it? Am I good to get rid of this now? Uh, Maybe check that one spot that you were just on. 
If you don't find it here, oh, wonderful. Okay, yeah, no, don't worry about it. Um, there is a research paper here that was written by Goombella, which is the only hint that Thousand Year Door is still canon in this game. So, apparently Goombella canonically exists in Sticker Star, but she's only mentioned. Oh, people are kind of freaking out at what I'm saying, and I'm like, no, it's actually true. There is a research paper in here written by Goombella in the garbage. You know, I, I can keep looking around for it, but I feel like I'm going to keep pulling up enemies at this rate. There's something involving Paracarry. I didn't know that. Pokey Team wins. Pokey Team wins the baseball game. I didn't know about the letter from Paracarry. I found the Goombella letter, and I freaked out because I'm like, oh my god, actually, a reference to an earlier game. Is it just a random chance thing, or like, is it guaranteed? I the Goombella paper was added by the localizers and that it doesn't exist in the Japanese version. Ooh, okay. In, in that case, we have the definitive version because it mentions Thousand Year Door. <laughs> to Goomba, I solved that riddle of yours. It's four, two, three, maybe. I'm pretty sure from Goomba. They finally move faster. I mean, pokies don't have to move if they hit home runs in baseball. All right, I guess enough, just beat that. enough searching yeah. around. It's time. Yeah, for goat. I don't want to like do this forever. The quote is: "Thank you for your letter. Sorry, I'm not here to receive it, but I will get back to you shortly. Thanks, Harry." Thank you, goat. That's a pain eating. Hey, we searched over here. The goat tracks left on the ground is pretty funny. Oh God. Probably my crowning achievement in life was, um, there was one time I tweeted something mean about Sticker Star, and Rivali's voice actor quote tweeted it and was like, this, I bought a 3DS XL to play Sticker Star on launch day on a big screen, and it was the worst thing ever, and I'm, you know, if Rivali's voice actor is saying it, it's basically true facts. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, Emil. But I like how you're like, what? Did, how did you word that specifically just then? Like, this, one of the biggest moments of my life, one of the biggest things yeah, that happened? It the, it was the crowning achievement of my life. Just gonna shake my head, my dude. It's not like I've done actual good for the world. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> Rivali's VA hates this game. Yeah, he does. He's like pretty outspoken of a critic about this game, and he like makes jokes about it on his Twitter. Doesn't yeah? Doesn't Sean also stream a fair amount? Sean yeah, Chiplock so. is his name, I believe. Yeah, chat's saying Sean Chiplock. I don't know if I still have the tweet. I, it's hard to find old tweets, but I remember that happening, and I got, I remember that I realized who he was because a bunch of people were like, oh my god, Emil Rivali says that Sticker Star is awful. <laughs> Damn it. Up, 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 up. He's back. Oh, hi. Yeah. I recharged the phone. Woo! Oh, you're using your phone? I thought you were using your laptop. Ah, nope. Phone audio is huh. pretty good these days. Fair enough. Ba -da -bum -ba -dum -bum. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't give me the Giga stickers. Does I have room for the Giga? Yes, I do. <laughs> Um, I can't believe those hammer bros never hit you. I am a little surprised myself. I think it was Bowser tape behind that bush. I think I saw it briefly. <laughs> here? here? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Uh, yeah. Tim pissed him. <laughs> so oh I can God. jump up here. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, this is the one they were thinking of that you could go behind the plant. Because it's a health oh, extension! 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um... Nope. All right, 80 out of 100 maximum HP. No, she don't hit. Yeah, I, I think that's what I did. Is I missed the shot like that. You don't like Carpet Mario? Do you like Mario and Luigi Paper Jam? I've never touched it. I yeah, I was in on it. I've heard that most people, it's fourth or fifth place in the Mario and Luigi series for them, so I haven't really been in any hurry to play it. And I also hear it's a huge waste of a crossover. That was the main criticism I heard. It doesn't that... do enough in the Paper Mario side of things. Ooh. It's almost, it's basically like very much Mario and Luigi with a tiny bit of references here and there. There's some, they do some funny set pieces in there. Like at one point, both, uh, both versions of Peach get kidnapped. And then uh, they're like, how do we get out of here? Like, we don't know where the, our Marios and Luigis are. And then, like, Paper Peach just turns sideways and walks through the bars. Like, yeah, they didn't think of this. <laughs> yeah, they, I... They, they, they didn't think about what to do with the Paper Princesses, so here, I'll help us get out. I remember there was a lot of outrage where people were asking, like, why is it just Paper Mario and not, like, Paper Luigi as well? And they had a quote in an interview where they said that they thought that using four buttons would be too hard. And it's like, um, does anyone want to tell them that Partners in Time already exists? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I remember like that quote got passed around a lot. That's like the main thing I know about the game. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Yeah, also Bowser's Inside Story uses all four buttons too. So the moral of the story is they just did not have a good excuse. Pretty much. Or maybe like the director's like a clueless hack who never even played the old games or something. Some, I'm at this point I'm going to assume Ooh. that they would have had to for their job, so I'm not going to assume that. Okay. I guess I don't really know that for a fact, so I should. Let, let's yeah, let's not start hearsay here. No, no. Like I'm, I'm joking. I'm not like being serious about that one. Am I? Am I, I outdoors? I'm very much, like, not for the idea nope. of let's pretend that one person ruined this huge project that was worked on by hundreds of people, because that simply isn't true. I still need to go back and finish Dream Team. Oh, for fuck! Oh! I must be missing something here because there's not enough time to get back. Oh, actually, there might have been if I had, hadn't dilly dallied then. There we go! That's what I thought! That's Seemed not what's too done. Long. Give me the shiny boot. Flashy cone jump, not cone jump. Flashy ice cream cone jump. You jump up and you get 31 flavors if you do it correctly. <laughs> yes, please. How far did you get into Dream Team? We figured this out last week on stream. Uh, it was, I stopped making the, at the bed making part. Yeah, the Ulta Bed's kind of where the game grinds to a halt for a good, like, three hours and you're just fighting pallet swaps of enemies. I, that's easily my least favorite part of the game. And it's a shame though, because I really like uh, the Somnom Woods, which comes right after it. Yeah. I was on my way to Somnom, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I like the Somnom Woods though, but like getting there just takes a really long time. Mega Flash Hurl Hammer. Ultra Bed, oh, Ultra Bed Skip is pretty easy, huh? Yeah, the Somnom Woods music is so I think I need to add that to my phone because I don't think it's actually on there anymore. Why do I have to trap you to get you captured this time around? Ooh. 
I think tonight when I take my bath after this, I'm probably going to listen to the Somnom Woods music. <laughs> nice. I thought you were going to say you're going to load up Dream Team. Woo. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I really want to replay Dream Team that badly. I went through it once and it was good, but it wasn't like my favorite or anything. Where is the spot I have to lead you? Oh. Ow. I also think if I got a Mario and Luigi itch, I'd probably try Paper Jam just on the virtue of it being the only one I've ever tried. I mean, you already have it, right? You have a copy of it? Yeah, it's sitting in my collection. I've been trying to fill in my... Yeah, I've been trying to fill in my 3DS library more lately with the eShop shutting down next year and all that and, you know, used games naturally going way up in price when that happens. Oh, there we go. That's where I had to lead them. Tasty. <laughs> that was kind of fun. And he's dead. He will not be missed. Alright, we got the bridge fully built, or at least the parts for it, so let's go build that and beat the stage. Oh, or not! Another one! To Guilty Player says, imagine if it spat out just the clothes. <laughs> They shoot out the mask, and it's just like, well, now you'll never know. Yeah, Fire Emblem Fates Revelation is going to become really possible, like, just really difficult to play after next year. I have the uh, cartridge that is just Fire Emblem Fates, so I'm pretty good there, though. But yeah, that cartridge is already really expensive. What? Oh, right, because the three different versions? Yeah, they have a cartridge that's all three different versions on one, but... Um... Yeah, it was only for the special edition. Yeah, no, I remember that. A viewer actually sold me theirs, so I. A lot of people. It. I get the production costs are higher if the game's larger. Remember that, but a lot of people thought it was so silly that, like, come on, you can fit all three on one cartridge, and you're not just doing that anyway. <laughs> Isn't the third version DLC? It is, unless you have the collector's edition, and even then, I think you still have to download part of it. I forget. Do you, Do you have to download it? Uh, if I don't the, remember if for sure. I thought it was all in the cart, but I might be wrong. Let's see. No, I'm seeing. No, you don't. You don't. Okay. So I do have the one. I do have like the cartridge that's going to make it playable in the future. Oh. There we go. Got most of our coins back. Nine nine seven. All right. Is that where? Uh, I think that might be where we're stopping for the year. I'm starting to feel sleepy. Be sure to take a rest before you start feeling tired. Ah, too late for that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should have done it. You should have listened to Paper Mario. Uh, that depresses me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we, we got partway through Chapter 5. That's a pretty long opening for Chapter 5. That was a big level. Yeah. So let me see. I think stage-wise, I think I might still have the guide open. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. Bumping up and up. World 4. We already finished... World 5-1, 5-2, 5-3, 5-4, and 5-5, five, five, and 5-6. Five, oh, there's six worlds here. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh... Yeah, so there's six parts to World 5, and we've done one of them already. And then there's uh, the three parts to the end game. So I don't know how long this would actually take to finish. Mm. If I had to make a wild guess, it could be three hours. But I, I I'm see so for the reason I'm wondering, chat is we talked about this at the beginning of the stream. Uh, I would I think it might be more interesting to instead of having this be another bonus stream segment for next year, have it actually end during Coliseum. Hmm. Like have a dedicated segment to the finale of Sticker Star. So that way, since we'd probably be in meeting in person, Emil could be the one who does the ending of the game. Ho ho ho! You drive a hard bargain. We might make that a, a donation incentive, though. Like, have it like, okay, if this isn't met, we'll just have to pop in other segments instead. But if you do, we'll stay up like an extra hour late or something, and we'll make sure this is a big boy segment. You're signing me up for hell. <laughs> I sure am, motherfucker! <laughs> I love it. Boy. All right, well, you know, I guess let that stew. We can think about that as an idea for next year. I'm kind of glad that you brought it up on the stream. I wasn't sure if we were going to. Yeah, I figured it was worth bringing up. Yeah. 
Should it either be the first or last segment? I don't know about being the first, and I also don't know about being the last. No, I'd say probably last segment for a day. Yeah, I think if we're doing three days, it would be makes sense to have it at the end of day two. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like Chaos Cookie ends up like being in that we slot again or something. We could make a for it. No, no, I felt so bad for him. Even if it was his idea, I felt bad for him. Yeah, he, he kept saying that he wanted to be there and all this stuff, though, but I still did feel bad for him. The majority did, to be fair. I I, I even asked him, like, offset. I was just like, you know, hey, do you want me to, like, weasel you out of this or, like, make an excuse? And he's just like, no, I want to be here. I want to be really tired for the rest of the day. For the rest yeah. of the event. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for having me. I think. <laughs> you, you seem very unsure. We got to play the best part of the game, and, like, it was actually pretty good. <laughs> you actually had nice things to say about Sticker Star. It was a wild ride. Yeah, and I got so tired of saying nice things about Sticker Star that I switched to bitching about Origami King instead. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention that part. <laughs> red shells are good. Yeah, I'm grabbing some red shells. Uh, I'm trying to remember what shop actually also has the uh, the shiny shoes, because we have, like, no good jumps at the moment. Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm just prepping this so I don't have to worry when we boot this up again next year. Eh, boot, you're getting jumps. Oh ah, my god. Ah. Ah. <laughs> now I'm glad next year is going to be the end of this segment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, just regular jump stickers are good. Those are pretty expensive, actually. 10? Or do you mean the 28 no, for the 20, line jump? 28 for a line jump, yeah. Eh, I mean, line jumps can hit multiple people, so. Hmm. But if we don't beat it next year somehow, I'd be stunned. I mean, there's, like, not that much left. Mm. I guess it would just kind of depend how much it gets donated for, that, okay, if we hit this amount, we'll go another hour, hit this amount, we'll go for another hour, etc. We could do something like that, yeah. <laughs> what we do for another bonus out. segment with Chugga? I mean, some people want me to do Xenoblade Chronicles 2 if Chronicles 1 goes well. Mm. But I don't know, that might, that might be a stretch, we'll see. Hmm. I guess we could always continue this into Color Splash and then Origami King if we just wanted it to keep going. I mean, I'm okay with that. We could it would, I think Origami that. King would be... Sorry, not Origami. Uh, Color Splash would be double blind, right? Because neither of us played it? I've played two chapters of Color Splash and that's it. Okay, so I, I'm fully blind on it. Hmm. Swapping around nice to Thousand Year Door instead. That would be mostly blind for me as well. So, yeah. Maybe. Maybe that could be like a TRG thing, having you experience Thousand Year Door. <laughs> it's so long though, isn't it, dude? It is. Like, like it's it is like I, I said, like I wouldn't do it for game clearing because I think it's like 40 plus hours, isn't it? It's I don't know if I'd say it's that big though, but it's pretty big. Uh, main story 30 and a half hours, main an extra 40, completionist 59. I guess Completionist is pretty nuts in that game. Hi, Kirby! You're back to bug me one last time! Oh, you're not meowing. I wanted to meow you. I wanted you to meow, not meow you. <laughs> you guys did Dokapon? I mean, you're right, but Dokapon's a multiplayer game. Yeah, we And also, a lot of crazy want, like, things happen in that. It's not a linear RPG. We don't want single-player stuff to just go on for too long, you know? We fell in that issue. That's the issue we fell in with OJ, was that went on too long. If Backlogger is correct, you've also played up to Chapter 6 of Thousand Year Door? That doesn't seem right. What do I have written in Thousand Year Door? I have nothing written for Thousand Year Door. That must have been referring to a different game then for, for Chapter 6. I could uh, see you guys do an occasional playthrough of Thousand Year Door on TRG. People would probably try to spoil it on stream, so you could probably release it all after you've completed hypothetically. I mean, that's true. We could do that. But, like, I think I already know a fair amount of the story beats, which is also why it hasn't kind of hit my priority list. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll just see. Wow. Game Face apparently did the counting. They went back and counted how many cows happened. They said they're at cow count of 262, and they still didn't get to the part where the Rosa cow showed up. 
Wow! No, Damn. No, no, no. So that, that's, that's like quad lower than odds. That is super awful luck. I'm gonna double check to make sure, because I, I thought I kept it at 2%. Oh man, please don't tell me it's over. I just saw Chugga's post on YouTube. Sorry, dude. We've been going for five hours. We are wrapping yeah. up. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, we, I, I promoted this throughout the day too, so sorry. All right. So oh here's God. here's the game plan, folks. Uh, if you were a watcher of my content, the schedule for the week Ender. is tender. Because Monday, we are going to be playing through Zone of the Enders, the original PS2 one. Uh, I don't know if we're going to beat it the same stream. It's pretty short. But uh, if we don't, we'll wrap it up the week after. Wednesday is actually going to be hanging out with some TRG friends as well. I do believe it's going to be Motion Dan, Tom Fox, Popsky, and myself are going to be playing Walkabout Mini Golf VR. So we're going to play some mini golf, and if we all get motion sick during that, we'll probably move on to something else. I'm sure it'll be a very golf-related stream. Don't be surprised if Mario Golf shows up at some point. Uh, and then next Saturday, Emil is back here, actually. Yeah. Because next Saturday is the official start of the Xenoblade Chronicles playthrough. The Coliseum bonus incentive has been unlocked for that as well. Emil is going to be here for at least the first one to see it all off, and then after that, he's welcome to pop in whenever he wants, but I'll probably be doing those on Wednesdays, you know, every couple of Wednesdays. Hmm. Plan is for probably doing it at least twice a month. Uh, I have to beat the game by the end, or by before Coliseum happens next year, rather, which we're assuming is probably April-ish, but we don't know the date yet. So that's, mm. that's like, liquid. That's up in the air. If so I do not... Excited. Yeah, sorry. If I do not finish the game before Coliseum, I do have to be a punishment cosplay of a character from the series. So excited for you to finally see it beyond just, like, the hour of it that you saw me play. Uh, yeah, the hour of the beginning and the hour of the near end I have seen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Cosplay Dahlia. <laughs> Look, man, I know I got the boobs oh, for it already, Lord. but I'm going to need the butt for it, too, at that point. Uh, and, and, the and to learn how to walk in high heels, so. Okay, she's actually not wearing high heels. I, I Oh, she just has rabbit's feet, right, and they're just high arched. No, she has a spike coming out of her heel bone that is part of her foot, and it's just... Oh, it's so painful looking. Maybe make it like late 22. Oh yeah, I didn't say it was gonna be. I was gonna be wearing the cosplay at Coliseum next year because that. How would I know? Cosplays yeah, yeah. take a while to make. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, yeah, no. It a good cosplay is months of work. Yeah. Wolfric. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like Chugga has to stop playing idea. Xenoblade to watch you play Xenoblade. That's true. At some point, three will be out while I'm playing one. Mm -hmm. All right. Gosh, so many good ideas. Folks, thanks for hanging out as long as you have. Appreciate it all. Uh, oh, I didn't do last eggs. Let's do last eggs for the night, and then let's wrap up. Like I said, if you guys set on, sent out donations, I did not read the majority of them tonight, but if you sent messages in them to uh, make sure they went to a meal or someone like that, like Tim, I'll try to forward them on to those guys, simply because the 262 plus cows that got mentioned earlier, uh, that's gonna take a bit to go through. Jesus saves Captain Joe and Enzo. Thank you all for the gift subs and sub bombs. I'm a spoon 73 for 60. Polka God for 63. JD Hernandez 98 for 4. We're celebrating my dad's birthday, but I relaxed a bit when the stream, the 2% Rosa, was hilarious. Thanks for the many, year, many years of entertainment. All of y'all are great. Thank you, JD. Ant Don yes, yes, for 21. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Tim. No, I just said thank you for all. <laughs> to them. Gentleman Lucas for 22, Bubba 1995 MV for 74, Kion for 92, Megatalicare. I'll get it right one of these days. Because I see Megatalicare. Megatalicare. I don't know why I keep getting it wrong, dude. For 70, sorry. Sorry, D Pain for 10. And that's it. Thanks, everybody. Your eggs tonight. I assume it's just the randomizer again. You know what? Actually, I'm going to show that cow again. Fuck it. It's the right note to go out on. 
from Draco again. Prototype Cow Mikazi. Cow. That's the note we go out on. Folks, what's our raid message? I can't believe how fast you were. <laughs> Incredible. What's the disc only schedule like? Oh shit, you're right. Disc only is next week too. So yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday Ooh. stuff's going on. My bad. A lot of t a lot of TRG stuff for you this week. Yeah, it happens. Ooh, baby. Cow cow. I think cow lottery seems pretty fitting. <laughs> I th I like cow lottery. I think we're going with cow lottery. Let's see who we can raid. The cower ball. Ooh, oh, I want to raid my buddy Tom. I don't get to raid him, but he's doing a drinking game. I'm not sure how some of you guys will feel about that. Ooh, Nico's doing Stanley Parable. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff going on tonight. You guys are going to be eating good if you're watching the streams tonight after this. <laughs> Jiggy's playing Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, da, da, da. I started playing that today. Did, sorry, you, did you say you did? <laughs> Yeah, I just got to the opening cutscenes all, but... You're a brave man, my dude. You're a brave, brave man. Just curious more than anything. Yeah, it came, it came oh, with yes. my Xbox Series X, though, so, and he said he wanted that game, so I got that. Oh, uh huh. Oh, you did get this. You did get it with your Series X. So this is why we had talked about Elden Ring in the past, was because Emil got a Series X recently, and it came with a free game. But he was like, do I want Elden Ring? I'm like, dude, you're, you're not going to like Elden Ring. I can tell you right now. It's not your type yeah. of game at all. I didn't like any of the games that were free with it, though. So I just asked Tim what he wanted. He wanted Elden Ring. I mainly wanted it for Game Pass. And like to have a gaming PC that's not the computer that I work on all day. Oh, if Greg's doing a charity stream, that might be a good idea. Is John done his? Yeah, John's done, too. Yeah, let's go with... Let's go Ray Greg. Is he doing his piano playing? Yes, he is. All right. Yeah, that's a good choice. All right. We're going to rate a voice actor, Greg Chun, who you may know for many things, such as uh, Squid Game, or, ironically, he's Ike's current voice actor in Smash yeah. and in Fire Emblem Heroes. So, or, no, actually, is it Heroes or Awakening? No. John? What's the mobile game? <laughs> Heroes. It was Heroes? Okay, never mind. I got it mixed up with Warriors. There we go. Alright. So I was right, and I thought I was wrong. Alright. He's currently doing a charity raising money for, it looks like, a Mercy Corps. Uh, and he's doing some music requests right now, by the looks of it. So, uh, go hang out with him. He's a super chill dude. Oh my god. We interrupt your stream for a proton raid. Wait, seriously? Wait a minute. There was no raid notification. Oh my god, somebody's following me! Oh my gosh, whoa! Holy shit, cow lottery. Mm. How is that possible? Oh, is that just saying, like, go follow without actually do go oh go god, to the thing? Hello, me. everyone! <laughs> he hasn't Look quite at all figured these out Twitch This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, DNP. <laughs> TSG James. Sometimes he gets a little Aura. confused. Hello, Theta. But he's oh a super God, chill dude. Funny. Robot Torchic, Pastel Sakura. Go give Hello, him some CDC. love. Go hang out with oh him. God, and guys, with Kino all the stuff we got going on, I'll see you a bunch Hello. of times next Jolteron, week. Shadow if King I don't Robot. see you during the week, I'm sure I'll yeah, see you for Xenoblade. PK Patriot. Hello, some Hi, random everybody. fox. Hello, Have Soda Pop Barbecue. Frogzilla. Fur. Salem the Cat. Wait a minute. I hope you enjoyed that. That was awesome. Pretty much a proton John Raid. That's amazing. And what's a cow lottery? I don't understand. Oh my god.